Your little fling flang. No, you can't do that. Sorry. It's the beginning. I have to do the, the oh, welcome to EFA 1, 2, X. The, no. No, right now? We're, we're live? No, well, live in the past. Uh, oh my god. It'll be. I was what, alive in the past. That's how you define recorded, right? Live in the past. Um, so we were live when we made this. Um, alive, fairly. This should come out like right after the following day from when it's made, but it might not because life is weird. Uh, copyrightisms and stuff. But uh, the, the, I, I actually, we might be okay with copyrightism. I don't know yet. The problem <clears> is that I've split memes into or these video memes into what I think is copyright free and what I think isn't copyright free. Ooh, and uh, okay. we have so many images that there's no way we're getting them all done today. I've got a huge oh, selection. But um, the idea, I think, is going to be we'll record the copyright free one today, and we will record the copy not copyright free one another time. All <laughs> right. Two uh -huh. meme facts. So don't panic, right? Is yeah. someone out there like, oh, I didn't see my image or my video? Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. worry, there's more. Don't, don't do it. More. If you're worrying, that's it's, forbidden. It's you're yeah, breaking can... EFAP rules. This is the police. Uh -oh. uh, whoop, whoop. Get the fuck the out of your car. We're gonna, gonna fuck you. Imagine being arrested by Jacob. It would be such a privilege. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would create crimes endlessly <laughs> on a loop just so that eventually one of the cops who came to arrest me was Jacob. Oh my god, what did I do, officer? And he's like, you know. <laughs> you rest. That's just how he does it. You know, there's no, there's no legal pass to it. Uh, so timeline wise, this is right after we did the um, Snyder. No, not Snyder. Yeah, Snyder cut trailer reaction. And um, now I don't know if you you three knew this, but EFAP doesn't typically praise it based on its comic book accuracy. You know. What? But yeah, because I haven't read the comic. Well, three reasons. I haven't read the comics. Which comics are we talking about? And I don't care. Yep. <laughs> And it also doesn't just, it just doesn't feed into the, the system we use to criticize, because of course that would be absurd. Um, if you do consider it, 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 it makes everything fall apart. We've been over that a whole bunch of times, but it was um, Southpaw put this, this, snapped this and put it on Twitter, and I thought it'd be funny for us to check out. Um, well, there is an apparent oh my goodness. lack of appreciation of the DC characters or the comic book source. Darkseid and Apocalypse along with Granny. Is that how they spell it? A P O K O L Y P S E. I feel like it's even more tizzy than that, actually. Like they do, isn't it? Apocalypse with lips. It's oh fuck it, whatever. Uh, it is apocalypse me... with a K. It is like A P O K O L I P S or something like that. Oh no, it's A P O K O L I P S. <laughs> Apoco. Literally lips. what I just said. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Oh yeah, but I, I'm confirming it through the internet, Google. Well, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 didn't, they didn't want to spell it the same way as it was originally in the English language. But they okay. still wanted the name. <laughs> they're going with the uh, they're going with the the, the Mad Max Three Thunderdome spelling. Oh, yeah, you got Batman's big tank taken from People Dark Knight Returns. That. Superman in black after the death. Of Superman, Joker working with Batman, etc. Instead of being objective, there's a lot of superficial complaints. This is not Batwoman. I like how your counter is only talking about superficial things. Yeah, so. There's so much irony here. All of the praises are just look. Incredibly it's like the comic. Yeah, look, it's a black suit. That's cool. Look, a giant tank. That was in the comic. Cool. Oh Dark man. Outside, grady. <laughs> like uh, okay. This last sentence like, here. This is not Batwoman. We have this one. This is a budget. Um. So that I'm is gonna, the main gonna, distinguishing. You know what? I'm gonna go crazy. It's just like Batwoman. Batwoman has Victor Zaz. Batwoman has Kate Kane. Batwoman has Luke. That one is Scarecrow. Very true. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Jacob yeah. came from the comics as well, right? These these things are all in the comics. Why don't you sure. appreciate Batwoman for having things from the comics? What the fuck? That's right. I bet Jacob Kane wears clothes in the comic. Yeah, and mm. Kryptonite. Kryptonite's from the comics, I think. I Kryptonite, think that's, that's yeah. right. It's yeah. the only thing that could pierce the bat suit. asterisk. Um, Hush, <laughs> he was in the comics, and he's in the show, so yep. hey, how about that? That's good. Don't... They're, they're staying is... faithful. They, they're they remembering their source material. They, they're like, um, they're like, Franklin and Grand Theft Auto, they never forgot where they came from. They never. learned their lesson. That's their, that's their moral. I, know that this I never knew the Batwoman writers were smarter than me. I know this person would want to be like, yeah, but Batwoman fucks it up. It's like, hey, hey. Oh, we can have a conversation hey. about that. <laughs> what have we been told by many DC fans about 
This is that's the funny thing I think about the DCEU, unlike most of the other stuff. This is the one where fans are split, like down the middle on whether or not it's well, yeah, faithful. Yeah, because um well, I mean it's not, but <laughs> it doesn't matter, <laughs> but it's not. Um Well yeah, the, the argument goes from so. literally faithful or like in spirit. You know, like is it capturing... Well, I think in in spirit, good God, <laughs> the DCEU is the is spirit of the DCEU. Remotely. And yeah, all well, they... the spirit of the DCEU is um, it's okay to laser a ship in half and crash it through three buildings because they were probably empty. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so people, this is, this is a huge hot take. Here it comes about to drop it. Um, there are superficial complaints. Yeah, it's a trailer. There's not yeah, what, for what of substance do. can we pull from it? Um, and, and, and I guarantee you, you're not posting a paragraph saying, hey, there's a lot of superficial praise in this positive review of the Snyder Cut. Stop it. Mm -hmm. It's like, no. That's what trailer re reactions... Trailer reactions? You know what I mean? Like, what, <laughs> what do you expect? We're just gonna be like, oh, look at this image. That looks interesting. What, what, what that might be about. Don't know. Uh, it was funny, there's already... Like, within a day, there was more views on that Snyder Cut trailer reaction than it was on the, the previous EFAP. I was just like, wow. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. brace for impact when we finally release the Snyder, Snyder Cut Snyder trailer? Cut. Yeah. Man, it's crazy that people care. Dude, I mean, the big the big story was that um the Snyder Cut trailer was the most, barring Godzilla v. Kong, was, like, the most viewed Warner Brothers trailer in 24 hours. Like, in wow. its first 24 hour period. Yeah. I think the fact that he put it's amazing Godzilla that that, Kong, that many people were interested in Godzilla vs Kong. I also don't know how much that that's impressive, and when we're at the point well, now where people are let's desperate. put it this way: I'm pretty sure it was about half as much as One Division got in their first 24 hours. That's okay. a TV show. So, hey. and also they were comparing it to like the Batman trailer, but that was not like a trailer, you know, or at least it wasn't labeled as a trailer. It was labeled as like, you know, first look preview or something like that. Mm. Those always get less views because people don't think it's like legitimate or, you know, like the main thing. Yeah. So, I, just, um, I don't, but, but who cares really, right? I just like this whole, this is not Batwoman thing when Man of Steel would fit right in with Batwoman right in wise. <laughs> it's like nothing. Yeah, it's just in... got big, more money. More money. It's got yeah. better visual effects. That's, that's all you got. And, and like Zack Snyder makes it more visually a appealing than well, that's actually <laughs> some people well, feel he makes his it, cinematography no, I, is better than Batwoman's. Exactly, it's it's like okay, all right, his right it isn't though. Definitely, yeah, his writing's horrific. Batwoman ever survived a black hole? Just saying, she is the black hole. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and I don't know. I just find it interesting. Uh, Batwoman, everyone's collectively agreed, gets all of the bad faith as a show. Like, it doesn't have to be treated in any way, shape, or form with, with any charitability, but everything else that they like, hey, we back off. Mm. Mm. Poor Batwoman. This is why it's our favorite show. We simp for Batwoman. We protect her while yeah, laughing at her. we are the Batwoman stands. Sure. Um, so anyway, on to memes. Yay! Check Yay. <laughs> hey, we got one that's real relevant. Check it out. My goodness. <laughs> 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 it looks... Uh... Oh, <laughs> he's oh my goodness! I, I like the idea that Batman's like, "Have you been eating people?" Like, I know it's the post-apocalypse, but you could have <laughs> had some, you know, and restraint. I guess, I I suppose this one will release before, because as of the recording, we we saw Suicide Squad the other we day, we yesterday, did. right? Man of Steel, uh, uh, yeah. if movie should finally be out before this. <laughs> so that, yeah, that. so I currently hate Joker a lot. Oh yeah, you should. <laughs> I mean, Joker's <laughs> terrible. He's oh, he was he was really bad in uh, Suicide Squad. So I guess we'll see yeah. how he goes in in Snyder Cut. He's gonna be different, that's for sure. Oh boy, they they got rid of his damage tattoo. It's just so unfair. They need, <laughs> need to understand. But how will I know? Maybe he, they fixed him. He's repaired. Trilogies. We all love him. This is our <laughs> Filmento trilogy. <laughs> I think when when we did the newest EFAP live, like one of the first things was like, please no more Filmento. <laughs> Spare us. Hey. <laughs> he was recommended loads before we had to check him out just based on like topic choice. It wasn't even like affinity of a purpose. Yo, what's up? Well, you're approaching me, even though you dislike Lost Jedi and therefore a Nazi who I'm obligated to punch. 
Yeah. Oh, oh no. my goodness gracious. A yeah, Nazi. He advocated that, you know, it, violence bad, unless it's a Nazi, which you should punch them. It's like, ugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember that. Okay. I don't think the Nazis would have liked Lost Jedi, you know? So, yeah, I guess he's No, right. the Nazis had standards. Yeah, they had some, they had some interest in narrative structure, okay? Oh my god, Freen, do you like your meme getting used for an EFAP meme? <laughs> <laughs> Make you I like feel. the idea that he's still standing outside saying feel. <laughs> what about he heard feel? the word and so it just it put him into like a a coma. I mean, I've never seen Mola do politics. What can he really contribute to a political stream? I mean, <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't get it. Is, is it because Vosh has the intelligence of a stick? Um, oh, well, I mean... He has I, the it, morals of a stick. I no, a stick is amoral. Into it that way, what, what are a um, stick's morals? Yeah, like, what yeah I was about to say, a stick thing? is more moral than Vosh, My morals it are to be them. stationary on the ground <laughs> if I have fallen out of a tree, and if I have Have you seen Vosh? Moral, He's it, very stationary. If, <laughs> if I am to be moved, I will be upset. That's fine, ultimately. Hey, what's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Some uh, in relation to the Senate run. Uh, sport. Uh, got that spot. Sport for Get Congress. Sport. We got a couple of spot memes, and I say a couple when I mean like twenty. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. <coughs> the shitty sport. table is Gene. This post was made by the correct Gene gang. <laughs> correct Gene gang. It was table versus seven. I think is how it was looked at. Which, you know, that's one of those things that totally makes sense out of context that everyone will be able to grasp very quickly. <laughs> I don't remember us talking about Snyder's T-Rex with us in the back shooting dinosaurs and stuff, but I'm not against it. <laughs> Snyder Riders play Snyder set. Riders. <laughs> oh, it's going to be like that, though. <laughs> I, I don't think this will be far from the truth yet, because those will be the, uh, what are they called? Parademons? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. And then Batman will be para his tank. What is the para for? Uh, uh, I guess in flight, is it? I forget what para means. I don't know. Because it's like a prefix meaning like beside, right? Or is like it? it's adjacent to, it's next, or beyond. Well, so they're like beyond demons. Right? What is para? Right, maybe that's why, yeah. Or like... Like paramilitary, where they're like the military, but they're not really. They're analogous to it, but they're not quite, you know. Oh, para can mean abnormal. Or okay. like a, oh, so they're not like normal demons. No, no. I'm not like, I, to they're, they're them sassy for girls, demons. and they're like, I'm not like other demons. <laughs> and then they all say that, though. They're, none of them are like other demons. Oh, I guess for a second... Wait, so like paratrooper? Can they rename it mean demons? Paratroopers, of course, like reduced from parachute trooper. Paratrooper. Parachute, yeah. yeah. So calling them parademons, that's Do not. Do they have parachutes that carry them around? Like, when yeah, it's I, really I don't want to jump to conclusions. I just, I don't know. <laughs> what, what... Or maybe they travel in duos. Maybe. <laughs> There are parademons. I think the opening of Justice League will prove that wrong, I'm afraid. But still, uh, oh, that's gonna be fun. Well, they have buddy checks, like at the pool. Yeah. Experience sport quality. Oh, oh my oh, god, damn. Overwatch! I haven't thought about that game in <laughs> yeah, ages. <I> <laughs> wow. Well, I think BlizzCon Overwatch. is today, actually. So. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have god. known. No, but I, a lot I of people wouldn't have known until I woke up. <laughs> I don't even. I'm not even sure of the context. It's like YouTube for more calmly explaining it. So I think this might have been the one where I was. <laughs> I think I said I didn't know whether something was something or something was something else, and I don't know if you remember. It was one of the Halloween ones, but chat was like, "You're wrong," and I remember being like, "I just said I didn't know. <laughs> How could I be wrong?" <laughs> You're wrong that you didn't know. You actually do know. You're lying. Oh my god. Yeah, you know in your heart that God is real. Ah, uh, good old fashioned it. Joe and Honey meme. <laughs> Joe and Honey. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the shades and the face. <laughs> the Dear Theater Rag <laughs> blesses us all with the sweet gift of honey. <laughs> Joe and Honey. Oh, I like it when I see a meme. But oh, I know that's a great meme. Out of context, won't make sense, but I understand this one entirely. 
you remember, do you remember oh, this? No. <laughs> yeah. So, He's telling a story about how he was uh, into younger yeah. women, let's say. Yeah, like he was reading fucking young teenage or children's books for, for, for girls, I guess. And before you assume, he's like, he wanted to like make sure his Chad cred was was still up and 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 safe. He's like, oh, it got me loads of pussy. Basically, this is movie bar we're talking about, by the way. Very. He read children's oh, books to get pussy, yeah, which I makes you want that. Yeah, yeah drew, it was movie bar. Yeah, he drew himself recording two girls doing that. I guess, and it's just like, <laughs> oh, I don't know what the what is wrong with him. <laughs> Judy, I read Judy Bloom books to get myself some puss, and I'm like, those are kids' books, though. You're weird. Oh, no. Is uh, it better if he went after like my mentally bobs. stunted adults? <laughs> my bobs. <laughs> I like that if it goes well beyond EFAP to say that Quinton is like movie bob son to Pathetic. some degree. Like a lot of people feel that way. This, this well, he he butted off of Movie Bob's body. Movie yeah. Bob's never procreated. He he reproduces asexually, much like him. Really? I don't even. Uh... <laughs> my need to <laughs> don't forget to scrub my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> my <schneedle>. <laughs> <laughs> well, Every time oh, before a stream. My schneidel. <laughs> What do you do? What do you do here, Hans? I am scrubbed. I'm <laughs> getting my schneider scrubbed. I, I, I'm im scrubbed. This is like a standard meme. It's just yeah, gets all excited because uh, that one won't load. Click I'm it. Sorry, some of these do be like that. Dooby 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 do. When Mando's hand moves three inches away from it. <laughs> Ugh, fine. I, you funny. know what? If they don't load quickly, I will send them via a uh, light shot. There you go. <gasps> Keep away from YouTube Excellent. and the rubbish one finds there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Memory TV. I, it's kind of a promotion for Memory TV at that point, you know? So. They yeah. give very good advice. Because some people will be like, wait, why do I have to avoid them? And then they check out. Oh. Guess we shit. 106 episodes of pausing frames, and we've barely even tapped the vastness of meme potential. <laughs> That's true. Still getting there. So many memes. So little time. Oh, hey, Mel, you'll like this one. Because it's in German? <laughs> <laughs> the coom. <laughs> I like they, they added in the M. <laughs> I like a diet. Is that, is that Dean Winchester, I think, in the, in the actual original? I think movie? it is, yeah. I think it is. Subjectivity killing bullets. Oh, well, yeah. Need them. I guess you got Twin Perfect and Cinematic Venom battling over who made the worst video. They're both terrible. Yes. Both suck. <laughs> kids, yes. kids, you're both just yeah. awful. <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny because if, if it were like, which one is worse out of those two? It's like, well... Uh, I guess um, Twin Perfects is like aesthetically better. Like a... Yeah, but I would say that that gives Cinematic Venom's video, video more charm. Yes. Green. If oh. such a word could be associated with that video. <laughs> Change the future. Vote <laughs> Election day 2020. <laughs> You see, he's got the That's blue and the red right. flags to mean everyone votes for him, okay? Everybody, yeah, mm. I will unify both sides of the political <laughs> aisle. The new Jeb? <laughs> Do you want to read out Please. this, this Greek Goblet dialogue, right? Okay. I've hijacked the plane, Spider-Man. I'm taking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking these birds straight to the Twin Towers, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. You gotta be with <laughs> <laughs> He's writing. You can, you can, you can see the reflection in Spider Man's eyes. Oh, you can. Oh my, oh my god. god, yeah, you can. can. <laughs> oh, how does God be yelling loud enough? Well, he's loud enough to drown out these jet engines and also big enough to stand on top of them. 
means <laughs> all those people in the two towers can hear. Um, I, just... I said two towers, not twin towers. <laughs> <laughs> they can the two towers they can hear this random disembodied grouchy goblin voice they have no idea what it means and then they're like wait a second we're in the twin towers should we Bobin's, be concerned those for hitting he's just like maybe i've gone too far this time it's <laughs> a bit much oh speaking of spot memes oh god that's horrifying <laughs> wow it looks like a limited existence, and that has taken an emotional toll. Yeah. Hope he'll be okay. Oh, a classic character from Champed Up. You Moisty. hope the eggplant will be okay? I guess I do too. Yeah. <laughs> Moisty. Yeah. Remember Moisty? Oh, wow, that's a, that's a champ right there. Yeah. That's a moist champ. Pretty sure that's he a won champion. something. I hope Moisty's doing okay. Me too. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. Again, lots of sport to win. Everyone, Sparts, people, yeah. yeah. Sport. The right in. Sport is shaping up to be the new Jeb. It's just, I guess, Shrek. Uh, <laughs> it's just in here. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Important. Got a. Um, he's the swamp champ. Samurai Gene. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What? He's even got the little hat. <laughs> some Maori, some Maori gene. The Maori gene. True. I think Tonal will be proud. Shit, man. Downward spot. <gasps> wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a water sword, I have to assume. Yeah. Back in. See, this is all Halloween stuff. It's been a while. Jay yeah, got the cobwebs on him. You know, someone's hmm. got to when you get shoved to the ends. I'm so sorry. It's reality. My god, we got the reverse meme? Imagine thinking that this shit is Gene. Post made by the table gang. Well. Well. Hmm. And I, you know, I'm, I'm more I specifically a... recall when Gene was made, one of his little legs was longer than the other, but not, I mean... Yeah, it wasn't quite a seven, but at the same time, I feel like the seven comes closer, even though that's not a seven yeah, either, but you know what I mean. It definitely was not, um, definitely wasn't symmetrical. I have no people. God solo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only they'd known to do that. Hey, look, what do you got his finger hurt? And he had to go to Hopsital. Oh, Hopsital. No. Man, he must have really fucked his finger up because mm. I, that must have been like like I have a I have one of those little things you you I don't even know what it's called this little slicer thingy, mm -hmm. and man, he must I don't know he must have hurt himself really bad with one of those maybe it was like an electric one or something maybe an electric slicer. So um, yeah. So like, <laughs> oh yeah, this. <laughs> I guess so. Holy. Your your power went out the one time, and you 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 it, there was a concern that it might go out. Okay, again. Yeah? yeah. So my power went out, and it was out for eh, uh, two, three hours, something like that, because it's a lot of snow around here, and I didn't know if the power would be back on soon. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take advantage of all of this snow outside. So I have a bunch of little plastic like Tupperware containers and stuff. So I filled them up with snow and I put it in the fridge um, <laughs> in case the power is so, so the food in there would last longer. Mm -hmm. And if the power went out again, you know, that that would that would help it out. Totally rational, I think. But my uh, brain do. doesn't work that way. <laughs> so I told I told Mahler, it's like, yeah, I said, yeah, my power's out. Uh, I, I just got back from putting a bunch of snow in the fridge. Well, well, here, <laughs> let me go to our conversation. Let me scroll up and see. You have um, to appreciate POV, okay? Because <laughs> okay. for my okay. POV, I am like, your power is back on and on for good, not like I completely <laughs> blanked on the potential that it could go out again. It's like, no, it's back on <laughs> okay. now. Okay. And so um, oh, I Okay, I said... You said you're awake. I said, bad timing. Just lost power literally about a minute ago. Um, and so I, I ended up saying, da, 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 uh, power's back. Hooray. Uh, I filled my fridge 
with snow just in case. <laughs> Mahler then you, asks, I need you to appreciate what? the image in my head is... when this, I think there's no reason to do that. So I'm like, what? <laughs> Mahler asked, is that food over in America? <laughs> and I said, no, so it stays cold in there longer. So wait, and pause, Mahler asked, pause, pause, pause. You so... filled your fridge with snow in order to keep the snow colder for longer. <laughs> In my brain, I'm like, is he saving the snow for something? And then you said to keep it colder, referring to yeah. the fridge. But I thought to you were referring the to the snow the using for longer, using the fridge to cool the snow. And I was like, why do you need to do that? Like, what, what is the context? And yeah, we we I think I was on a stream when I was laughing about how I misunderstood it. They were just talking about how you uh, you you hoard and collect snow and you fight uh, sources of heat to keep your snow safe. Oh my goodness. That should just be it should just be framed. This conversation should just be framed. Cause it's so amazing. <laughs> well, you're just collecting snow. <laughs> Some people Fuck me, I do. thought you were just collecting snow. Because it doesn't snow that often here in Arkansas, so we collect it and save it later. <laughs> Oh, That's man. how it was delivered to me. You just you're gonna have your snow <laughs> later, so you wanted to keep it cold. <laughs> That's fantastic. I like how the human brain works sometimes. It's fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I crossed <laughs> off and it went back to a different tab. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, IRL's prod. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, that's Unreal. Horrifying. Oh, man. The Netflix adaptation of Sport is horrific. <laughs> See, I, oh, they should have kept it a cartoon. I just feel like. Going real life it doesn't it's not the same, you know. Even the reflection has him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Imagine like walking down the road and seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> Might even say it's terrifying. Wait, 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 wait. Pod solo. There we are. Oh hey. That's a new one. Kryptonians, Gamorian guards, not having a choice in occupation. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good Gamorian tension. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just one of those things you say to the language, like, Gamorian god is, is the species. <laughs> <laughs> My god, it's a book look. <laughs> Blazer with t-shirt. The, the hated combo, right, Rags? It's such a horrific combo. I can believe that Patrick Willems wears it. Or well, Weekend Warrior. I don't know what to expect from him. <laughs> He's I mean, crazy. he does like anime. I don't know. He's crazy. Lesser known spider powers. Attracting rubble. You can see all the arrows. This rubble's coming oh, in. Oh, yeah. Predicting bad movies. So that's when they were writing the uh, Declaration of Independence and, and they mentioned which ones are going to be bad. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Knowing when blue people are up to no good. I believe that came up. We were, we were talking about what it was that he sensed and it was just it was just blue people doing bad things probably. <laughs> and of course getting jiggy with it. The quintessential spider power. We got a few of these. This is one of them. Uh when we were talking about Harry Potter being all about drugs and stuff. mushrooms. <laughs> 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 He's got the guns. Adapt it again, do it. He has those guns akimbo. He do. And that be a, a movie. Um What who did we oh, cover yeah. that said was it Donkey that, that, that described was Donkey. it as good because it was memorable? Yeah. Yeah, right. that was Donkey. Like the last of you'd agree with that, right? For any things that are memorable are good? Is that I mean, if that's no. sure. we just had a 9 11 sure. meme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was that good, that was me that's memorable, yeah. Yeah, feels like a weird metric. One that might just fold back on you one day. One day. What's really weird is that when I'm in trouble and I need help, I die on 9 11. Oh. Uh, one... See, that's how it's remembered to help people. That's where 9 1 1 came from. That's why the terrorists that. attacked. They actually were trying to help us out. They were like, never forget 9-11 whenever you're in trouble. I think this means... Except they said it with more of an accent. 
I think this meme comes from when we were talking about Mr. Rogers and like was it Hitler or someone having a buddy cop thing and it was just like Mr. Rogers playing some games online. Don't you recognize this scenario? <laughs> <What a friendly neighbor. laughs> so Mr. Rogers, the N word is neighbor. Yep. <laughs> what a friendly neighbor. <laughs> Isn't he like one of the people neighbor? who just will he managed to die intact? There was never any like Mr. Rogers was a horrible person or anything. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying it with a hard R, too. Yeah. Right. Neighbor. Guys, you can go home. I figured out there are alternatives to violence. By the way, play Geometry Wars. It's fucking great. <laughs> oh, that was the fucking... Is that extra credits? It was the sadism one, I think. It, oh, I can't remember what the overall memeing was, but I definitely remember that. It's weird. It's We've had multiple episodes relating to sadism. That one was special. Trying to cut this line between how much violence you're allowed to enjoy before it's wrong. Tell wrong. us we have a plan. Pretty dogmatic of you to assume that we need to know if we have a plan or not. What is it that you really want? Face of the man. His arguments like in favor of TLJ just change over time because in the plot holes one, he said that like, yeah, whatever. We need it for the story. You know, not an argument, basically, but these days you'll keep arguing. Keep on going. I like this is a double meme. Look at that. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> he is constantly like, dangling a cock in front of his face, <laughs> being led around by it. And then a, a regular meal. Was he? What was he? What, what was? What That's was his words? a small words? amount of food for a regular person. <laughs> Let me. Uh, oh, what happens if I go to Google and type in "movie Bob McDonald's"? McDonald's? Yeah. It instantly pops up. Oh, yeah, it, it does. Instantly <laughs> pops up. <laughs> there, Google knows exactly what it. What the fuck I want? The original <laughs> tweet you, is. It's. I don't think the original tweet is. Oh, I, mean, I don't it's the think first that this I mean. tweet is around yet. Um, or is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. That, this I'm kind of surprised to be honest. Movie Bob, Bob, Movie Bob McDonald's. That's the first result I got on Google, which was the tweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wow. a fairly small amount of McDonald's guy. That is. Oh. <laughs> 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 that is four large sodas, double two, like meals. fifteen piece chicken nuggets, four double cheeseburgers, and two large fries. Like I, I wouldn't be able to, and I can, I can eat a lot. Like, but I, 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 I I'm not finishing that in I one. Couldn't. No, I, I mean, who are you telling this to? Come on. <laughs> I don't. How would you just pull them out of food? I don't yeah, get this, it. That's the thing. I, a I know amount of food, you can't finish it. <laughs> a fairly small amount of food is one thing, but going as far as to say for the average size person, you're like, whoa. Like, if you had said just for you, maybe, but. Dude, these are large meals. Like, these are large. Like, they're like four they're and a half even... thousand calories. I think you well, can let's put it split. this way. If you divided it by four, it still would be above average. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah. If you had to split this with four of your. This is, how, this is what Australia, uh, Australian people like Fringy. Fringy calls them mates. Your mm -hmm. mates. If mates, you split yeah. this up with, with three of your <laughs> mates, then that means that you'd each get a soda like. 10 to 8 8ish eight chicken nuggets, a double cheeseburger and like a small fry each, which is like its own meal. And it's not even a good meal either. It's not like you need to eat this mountain of salad. Yeah, that is well balanced know. with meat and vegetables and fruits and like and nuts and like no no no, this is fucking McDonald's. It's like technically <laughs> food. Technically. <laughs> I wouldn't trust it, but uh because like people have tried this challenge, right? And um, oh, you, you think? Well, like Did they, but the, the professional eater people can pull it professional off. Professional eater people, <laughs> but like even they would probably be like, this is this is actually kind of a tough. Well, I wouldn't want to guess too too hard, but yeah, you could you could you could honestly split it between. Oh, uh, right? look look for for Matt Stoney. He he does the thing in like a couple of minutes, but he's like the most insane eater in the world. So. This, this is my, that's my rough vision of how you could split that between four people, an attempt at being even, and I'm pretty sure they'll be satisfied, okay? They'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Um, let me copy this. Put it in. Hmm. <clears throat> wow. That happened. Studies have shown that autism. Oh yeah, because that PETA ad that came out. <laughs> Bad faith. Hey, you can see me in the spoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this was this was a good one. Who was here for this? The Tom Hanks, uh, Mr. Rogers thing. Uh, oh yeah, I remember I... that. I don't remember, remember yeah. that. We, we, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just like it's obviously Tom Hanks on screen, and we were just like that's... <laughs> one of the most famous actors ever. Who in did history? we say it was? Like we just went with Steve Buscemi or something. <laughs> we just like no, yeah. and then loads of people in chat were like, no, that's fucking Tom Hanks. You're wrong. It's like no, Tom Hanks never played uh, Mr. Rogers. And then we pulled up, I think someone else played Mr. Rogers, and we were like, see, it's this guy. It wasn't Tom Hanks. You guys are all silly. <laughs> They were very upset, but it was okay because it was very funny. It was hilarious. Chat did not disappoint that day. Behind <laughs> Cheek sent me how destroys the middle with slices and dice. So this would be a great thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> with slices and dices. <laughs> the finger pointing towards it. Oh God, there's a Just gun. a random circled part of his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, Ray Shadow Legends, too. So we got a, a scientific breakdown of uh, the Virgin Rag versus the Chad Rags. <laughs> There's a single Goodness rag Christ. with no small R. <laughs> with a small R and no S. True. Cannot talk because it's just a rag. It's just a gross <laughs> rag. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably been coomed on. <laughs> Possesses a coveted S as well as a capitalized R has been cooped up. I like how both the, the difference between yeah. the virgin rags and the Chad rags is that the virgin they rags have both been probably been coomed on. No, but probably not necessarily. Oh, yeah, it's not even true. And several guns, the swords, and glasses, some potatoes. <laughs> And a computer at the very least. Oh, uh, can talk. Can not. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. Scientific. And you see, there was the arrival of Christmas, which was uh, prophesized. The, Hall the Halloween has <laughs> ran in fear. Oh, God. <laughs> it's Christmas time. <laughs> I wonder what my grandson's what? getting me this year. <laughs> <laughs> no tears, only jolly. <laughs> no tears, only jolly. Man, Christmas was great. Yeah, man. I love Chris. I love Crimbeth. Makes, makes me think about Batman and Robin. Crimbeth. When the Last of Us 2 gods scream, we're all laughing. But when the Shrek 2 soldier screams for his mom, we cry. Because it's meaningful in Shrek 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck people in The Last of Us 2. Oh, I yeah. mean, don't, but... He fab laughing at Swat's tonal being wholesomely confused. The reality that <laughs> I'm sure he <laughs> very vaguely understood it eventually. Totally fine. Oh, you know, SWAT, that movie's coming out with him in. Oh, damn. Oh, Infinity, Infinity SWAT. SWAT, yeah. Iron SWAT is my favorite. <clears throat> Iron SWAT. SWAT, uh, Spider SWAT, and the Incredible SWAT. The Winter SWAT. Would it be SWAT SWAT no Scarlet SWAT. Yeah, Sportos. Spuenos. Star Sport. Um, the Winter sure Sport. sport. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I knew you guys wanted this done. So again, we got some someone on it. EFAP gain us value by episode. <laughs> the notable fact is... Why is Shad a, a, an indicator of... Oh, I think he's the opposite. Shad is an indicator of anti-gay. Is that the idea? It looks that way, yeah. And then Major Lee is like super anti-gay, but then the highest, the peak gay is Voxus and uh, Mark and Jace. I understand. <laughs> Both anniversary episodes pretty gay, apparently. Ah, makes a lot of sense. They were pretty gay. <clears throat> the pretty, pretty Despite cool. the total lack of debates, they were very gay. 
days long. I, think, I guess they launched Spotnik. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Longroids gain seat in Parliament. <laughs> Wales on Sunday. <laughs> hey, there is a paper called the Wales Wales on Sunday. Nice. Got, that could um, be a documentary, a nature documentary. This this is obviously one of the memes that we're missing from The Boys season two. What you bring me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would make him happy though. Like Happy Ghost is clapping. All right, I've I've not got. I'm not entirely sure. The midnight trip to the bathroom. I guess because he's old. <laughs> uh, but the the poo is golden. Is or is that the rim? No, the toilet. And the, the toilet last poo saved inside of the rim. <laughs> yeah, the last poo saved feels like <laughs> a um. That's that could yeah. yeah I don't know why uh, the toilet's golden. I guess is it well, the, the, the is the, is that what because the it belongs in a museum? Like it's a treasure? sacred artifact from ancient alien times. Yeah, I, I, I guess that was what I was assuming. Yeah. So Jay accidentally just foot on chair. Exact revenge. Now crippled, Jay awaits his only contact with the outside world, home delivery of groceries. The National Health Service eventually replaced Jay's dying foot. Cyborg Jay goes on a Paralympic champion. I I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I hope arc. His foot's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that a cyborg, I mean, with one robotic leg. This is like Archer's <laughs> definition of cyborg. If you have an arm, then you're a, you're a cyborg. A robot Bear arm. beer and foxy beer. Why would you go with fairy beer? <clears throat> Bear mirror, foxy mirror. I guess that upsets. He got the, the he got the gay. That's he's a flamer. Yep. Uh, the furries gave him the gay. The dental got very upset by that reality. Oh my god! Oh, look, how far back we are. Oh my god! Yep, you have a face. What are we checking for? Please don't <laughs> access to all sensitive. Just confirming that you have a face. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, share before deleting proof <laughs> that Rags is in control of EFAP. He was yelling at them behind the scenes. Jesse was right. <laughs> Just, God. That dog looks pretty upset, actually. Yeah. He could be very excited. <laughs> Maybe, Just, yeah. I think he's probably just like, you guys, you're just not performing well. <gasps> you're not like, hitting like your quarters! Yeah. God damn it! It's a, it's a bad deal, Carl. God damn it! Buy low, sell high. You know how this works. <laughs> Buy high, sell low. That's, that's the tricks of the trade. I didn't get to this place. I didn't get this far of being a dipshit. But it's kind of cute. Do you want to say that, comrade? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure about that Maybe one, I, was, yeah. <laughs> I like the pictures used. <laughs> <laughs> a few people sent me this one. I feel like we both showed it already, but uh, apparently I show up in, in Cyberpunk. Mola. I'm affiliated with animals. Mm. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, wow. Illegal <laughs> use of pineapple or pineapple adjacent products in, in a pizza beats pizza desecration act. So, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, that seems out of character for me because I, I am not a fan of the old. I was say, you're not a fan of the. But I think it might have been, I might have been framed by metal. I, that's why I assume I have Yeah, because I, yeah, yeah. I, I was framed by you. Uh, no, the other way. Shut up. Old Disney movies ruin culture. Did you did you see that uh, episode, Fringy? That that at all? That, that whole sure. thing? I've definitely heard about this. Um, I definitely heard about this. Yeah. Yeah, their argument. Which, by the way, people want to see them fight. As in, so you got on one hand, they're saying Disney ruined it by making it too child friendly, and then Patrick Holmes okay. is like, "Stop our rating it. It's meant for children." So it's like, wow, that's uh, uh, yeah, that's a fun little fight, I would imagine. I think, yeah, they describe the Disney films as vapid cuteness. Uh, All right, <laughs> yeah, uh, is, that was a bad I, I, video. This, 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 <clears throat> this moment in Pinocchio, not quite what you would refer to as vapid cuteness. This is, uh, yeah, because yeah, a lot of the times in vapid. Disney movies, watching that when I was young, I was like, oh, so he's just a donkey then. So that's that's it. It's that's the end of his story for us. He, there's no redemption arc. Does he get undonkeyed later? No, they're donkey. they're donkeys. That's it. He, he horrifically transmogrifies before Pinocchio's eyes. He becomes a donkey. I'm like oh shit. 
Mandalorian is a series about a space cowboy intended for member Barry Disnoids. Those kids could read, they'd be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all would have more than completed the game if this this was what it was. Yeah, that'd be way more. Cyber. <laughs> wait, what does that say? Cyber Mari. Cyber Mari. Yeah, twenty sixty nine. Me likey likey. Oh yes. Plot holes do matter, Patrick. You're watching movies wrong. What does that even mean, Patrick? You can't be serious. I'm going to spend five hours discussing plot holes. That's not the point. This is a movie about the face was <laughs> intended for children. Just the face. Chat when Rax has an opinion. I promise no matter what, I will never be your friend, and I will never <laughs> forgive you, and I will hate you for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically about right. <laughs> Is that actual dialogue from the comic? I, I think it might be, yeah. Oh, it's bad, so it might be. Oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Oh, man. <laughs> Mind blown. There are connections. I <laughs> Very what true. Weird idea for a kid's show. Hey, we, we have televisions in our bellies. Yeah, like that, that that must be horrific. Just god damn, think a about that. That's a bit weird. You're born with an appliance in you. Imagine like teller blenders. Oh wait, no, sorry, they'd be blender tubbies. Ugh. Uh oh, there are times when I really hate that Jim Crow era rape is pretty much ruined the idea of intelligence. Rapists, I hate them too. They're bad. Oh, racist. Uh, Those one, the the rapists from that era were particularly bad. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is just a play on the fucking movie Bob shit. Didn't he say like, uh, Nazis ruined e eugenics? No. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He has some opinions. Oh, this has come in the wrong order. Like, if I hit this spot with a bat, he'll be a hundred times... Uh, he'll be decent meme, right? It's like, there, there, was a, there was a bit of a spot war as to whether he was funny. Wait, so... Well, of course he is. Well, a lot of people felt otherwise. We, we got some memes going what? back and forth on that one. I know, it's crazy. Of course, Galathar. Galathar the skin eater. Yeah, tickles. <laughs> Don't do that. You know, another Galathar one. Also Chumbo. Chumbo. Two fantastic characters. Who, in this Let's cutesy see. world, are a lot Mother, less threatening. Your love, your love crafting abominations are here. <laughs> Long man blurb 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 Galathar. <laughs> I am Chumbo. Do you have an X? Do you have XY? Oh, Weedabix. Weedabix. <laughs> Weedabix. Can it explain to us what Witabix is? No. That's, uh, is that a British only thing or is it a Europe thing? I don't know. We have I do I I've never seen Witabix over here. Is it oh, Weedabix or Witabix? Wheat uh Weetabix, okay. I just not to know. <laughs> Shove it up a badger. <laughs> Shove it up a badger. <laughs> Shove it up a badger. <laughs> when it, when it... Whenever it comes up in Tim and Eric, like, shove the gun up a badger. It's like, the badger will protect it from the time travel -tisms. You'll be fine. The Tim and Edge didn't think of it. <laughs> shove it up a badger's ass. <laughs> they just have a whole, that's the whole cage full of gun badgers. <laughs> Every time they send a robot back in time, they reach in and grab a badger. <laughs> the claw, it moves. Oh shit, lads! We got one of the coolest bad guys ever. Oh well, anti-heroes. <gasps> Whoa, oh, that is edgy. edgy the hedgy. Oh boy. Does he have a gun in his boot? Yeah. He does. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's almost as cool as me rockets. An, an, an earring. An so earring. So cool. Yeah. His eyes are red. <laughs> Dude, he's, that's an icon for EFAP. He's even got it on his shoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Legend. Yeah, I just feel like this is the one to take down all the bad guys in a really cool way. I guess this is yeah, going the opposite be... direction, making an R-rated Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of shooting him, he lies and his nose punctures uh, the heart of Robert De Niro. 
I'm a real boy. Yeah, it's like, well, Batman. it's just like that itchy and scratchy. I promise I will never hurt you. Ouchie! <laughs> <laughs> We got Skyzo oh. Arcadia Looper plus EFAP Muller equals Moopa. Moopa. Oh, Ooh. that's a cool little drawing. That's yeah. a really cool drawing. That's I hope a I cool stay safe from my little piece of art. Little, yeah. what, what's a, what's a, like a water hula hoop? Oh, name? this is someone who did this at work. Oh, that's like the segment. paper you put into it. This is like receipt paper. Yeah. It looks like receipt paper, and it's on a receipt like machine printer thing, and they're at work, and so they got some receipt paper, and they oh, were. Oh, that's neat. I hope they were I... making it. That's really <laughs> I like cool. So you can tell it has the little curve to it. Yeah. Because receipt paper, the more that you have in the roll, the less it curves. Hmm. Yeah. When when you start to get down to the the end of the roll, yeah. it gets really really curvy. Yeah. Hard to keep it straight. You yeah, say that's some working class shit right there. You get. Keep, keep, keep I, busy this by is drawing a slight... Mauler on your work time. I like it. I support drawing Mauler and all the EFAP memes on your work time. Yeah. This is a slight non sequitur, <laughs> but the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter just posted that. Oh. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> what? I don't know what's up. I'm good to... Are you okay, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter? Reality I don't know. Is Jesus. Okay. What's with the 2008 meme format, too? <laughs> Sonic is, which is ironic that Sonic is so slow with his meme game. Mm. Oh shit! I, oh, he should have just put epic fail on it with a face. Uh, one of those faces. Yeah, this is definitely one of those. Like, oh man, you'll be okay. Epic fail. Remember, everyone was saying epic fail. Oh Jesus Christ! I remember that. Yeah. Epic fail. It's like Ray that. William Johnson, right? Epic. Or was that? No, it was um Tobuscus. Tobuscus, yeah. Yeah. Epic fail. Win. Oh, he, yeah, he's uh is he even around? I think he's around. I presume this, this looks yeah. like they might be in a restaurant. They they drew oh, me. Ma you showed a picture of Mahler and asked if he was around and I'm like, but you're him. Whoa. <laughs> oh my Did god. You say ask, ask if he's around? No, I said ask. I said Oh, it sounded like you said axe for some yeah. reason. May I ask right. you a question? You have a problem with <laughs> axes <laughs> ringing? What the fuck? Well. I've, I feel like I have a problem with axing someone a question. That might be a little... Well, if you're Vosh, yeah. oh, if no, you could ax them a question. You mean Where'd like... You into that? Like them? he wants to kill people? Mm. That, like, that thing? He's, like, it, it implies violence, I guess. I can see how you can connect an axe to violence. Yeah, yeah, like an axe, yeah. Through line Using there. an axe on someone. If you axe a person, you don't assume, oh, he's just letting him borrow his axe to be returned later. <laughs> it's a ragzig <laughs> <laughs> preparing himself to join Lord Shad in the Halloween crusade. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly fits, I would say. And it's pretty protective. Yeah, I think so. One day I will avenge my village and destroy all carrots. Yeah, there was a big carrot that attacked his village and killed his parents. I was cooked. Um, oh, in relation to the um, we talked about the horrors of what might happen in our in Pinocchio, I guess. CGI. You got, you got the. the oh cursed, my god! The cursed <laughs> that guy. Take his legs. Mom. <laughs> oh. Poor Pinocchio. It can be rough sometimes. That's an image from the movie, by the way. That's why it's. The <laughs> Be good or suffer. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. No. Oh, that was a God. good one. God. <laughs> it's such a funny image though. <laughs> the line must be drawn here. This far, no further. No further. And I will make them pay for what they've done. Look, if these are successful, expect hundreds more. Oh yeah! Oh, are you talking damn. about the Star Trek sequels or oh, just the Star Wars, Disney all those movies? TV shows? Yeah. There'll be like ten billion of all them. All right. We'll never stop. Actually, Pinocchio, the bundle of sticks, is <laughs> so matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> bundle of sticks. Then he gets swallowed by a whale, and you're like, "What's the deal with that?" True. 
<laughs> oh, <it's nice. laughs> Want to know? Then where's the story going? You know. Hmm. Yildiar makes his triumphant return to Aoife. He attempted on my life by the disloyalty that left me scarred and deformed. He was abused. He was hit by a shell falling apart while on here. It's crazy. Shell fell on him. His tism has never been stronger. Poor lad. So this one, we've we've been a fan of for a while. This is the first time we showed it on a meme fab. <laughs> Mutlo. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so, Mutlo. Original Mutlo. And then the drawing by Odin of Mutlo. <laughs> I am Mutlo. There's a little hole in your sock. Oh, there's two holes. Oh my god. Yeah, most m most socks have a hole. No? Yeah. Yeah, they well, do. That's how you get your foot in. Yeah. No, I mean, you need to. No, that's yeah, the, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm specifically referring to the ones you can see in this image, not, not the, not the standard hole for a sock. Oh yeah, extra, yeah, yeah. His socks have extra holes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking image. <laughs> I like how the shirt oh, accounts shit. for your beard. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a big gap between the. <laughs> <and> the <A. laughs> this shirt's like I know who. Yeah, I know what this is for. I only buy high quality T-shirts that account for my beard. Mm-hmm. As it should be. Star Wars, the Acolyte. You're saying big doo doo this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Can't wait. No, it's not. Do it well. Do we suck? What's on the menu? Blue. I'll have one. <laughs> uh, oh, it's gonna be so much blue stuff in season three. Armor. It's gonna be great. <laughs> The tears is... seeping out of the little viewfinder. This is pretty neat. A little gif. Oh, hmm. You probably Quick. attach all kinds of lines to that and it would make some sense. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Pretty neat. Thank you for the mark. Oh, wow. That is very cool. Very nifty. <laughs> this is a, a combo meme. Old, old fashioned diabetes. Now, this is all Avengers. That's a great threat. picture of diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing Mysterio and diabetes battle. It'd be pretty cool. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, grandma got ruined by Randy. <laughs> Hello, Grandma. Oh, no. I'm trying to You're stop so it. You're so concerned. And I'm. Right out to it, Changing the title to that, it, and with the the legs and everything, it makes it look like it's a fucking porno cover. <laughs> I didn't even know they put this out. The the hope thing. Oh, hop. Hop is hop fine. Is good. <laughs> we'll just have it as a hop, yeah. Hop, hop is good. <laughs> <laughs> What is this for? That is that is cringe. The space was a movie intended lie. for to. Don't you finish that sentence? <laughs> don't you do it? I'm sick of it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember what the three was, but Michael Pena is the Mandalorian. That, that, that was something we said at some point. <laughs> I mean, yeah, give him a chance. I'll take it. See what he can do. Yeah, I'll take it. Anyone? Anyway, I'll take Steve Buscemi as the Mandalorian. <laughs> Crochet Mubly. Um, I think there's nice. one of a couple of us. I couldn't quite collect them all up, so they might be. We might see some next time as well. Looks great. We got. They. They. I, I took off my. Uh, a bit of my suit and you go. <gasps> go the, dragon. Hanging out with the spoil. <laughs> Who's clearly a fan <laughs> of the dragon flag? Put on some clothes, you whore. No. Don't let that tie breathe. <laughs> But yeah, that's awesome. I love them. They're, they're so very cute. And they're probably quite cuddly. And I think if anyone saw the spot one, they'd just be like, what What in what? It's like an egg. Is it the, 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 the standing <laughs> on water? <laughs> Makes know. sense, Shab. What a Gosh. Look at this. The changing of classic historical imagery. <laughs> Threw him in the lake. <laughs> Look, hey! Oh my goodness! I've never seen him. Is a picture of you throwing him into a lake. Yeah, how they got him. this image? Never seen him. It's but, uh, clearly doctored to have him oh, there. I this image. 
I I like this one. (laughs) (laughs) Jurassic World, Australia. Wow, just Australia. Yeah, just Australia. (laughs) Jurassic World, just Australia. (laughs) Hold up. We've not got Australia with no change whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know what what happened. Like, was there a full movie release, or is it still getting sorted out for you? Oh, it's uh, an well, it's an ongoing, never ending story. Uh. Yeah, we're still doing post production on this one. Mm-hmm. Post production. Yeah, production in post. <laughs> <laughs> that I know my name was pretty sure. <laughs> pretty funny. Oh, we got another Fringo. <gasps> Yeah, that was that was, <laughs> that was great. We got a lot. You have become the emu. Of course, how YouTube chat imagines ranks. We wouldn't want any disagreements now. Cold Druish. That's really good. Yeah, I like the uh, the light on the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're getting a lot of mileage out of that back of your head. Oh, well, they always yeah that that one I think it originated in the um the Kingsman meme, <coughs> and uh, yeah everybody <laughs> uses it. I, I'm assuming it's on the efab.me, and um but yeah. I'm guessing so. Where is my character? Is he safe? Is he well written? Seems Disney's incompetence they wasted. Right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty good summary of uh yeah. Ben's incredible arc. Who's responsible and what is the only thing he supposedly cares about? Ray. I don't have a death wish. Your planet blew up, lol. <laughs> yep. A little bit of a change in character. It's quite dramatic, but I think you can understand. Just gets bored halfway through their boarding. <laughs> because the Empire, all of them are just evil. I do not wish to be angry anymore. I only want to. Oh, there it is talk. again! <laughs> hmm? There's the back of your face again. Oh, yeah. The most commonly used one for the back. Man, I'm almost as powerful as Harley Quinn with that gun. Crazy. Damn. That's pretty powerful. And she's the one that's been used to fight Superman people, so yeah. What, an, what a nice meme. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Oh, I remember us giving our reviews of it. We weren't exactly that harsh, we weren't that nice either. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah, that's about right, yeah. It's be- yeah, pretty accurate. Still haven't played that game yet, like, since then. I'm pretty sure I haven't played it since. I haven't since, either. Uh, we it did that. it yeah. really did a good job of putting this all off, I think. Well, I just, well, I wasn't having that much fun with it. It's just, yeah. um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, yeah. wasn't doing anything for me. <laughs> Yeah, I've done making good videos. It was kind of funny to see that after recently covering it. It was like, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> mate, when did you start? Back in the good old days. One does not simply fly into Mordor, your fruitcake. Do you know what arrows or Nazgul's are? Well, you know what's worth it? Just dive bomb with the eagle and hope. And hope that you don't get shot down and then die. And then Saren gets the ring back. That would be bad, yeah. That would be bad. Just so we're clear. I'll drag three search for search SWAT. For SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> Knows if they will find him. A uh, person whose video is featured on EFAP says something stupid. That doubt, right? That is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typically how it goes. Yeah, I mean, how, how else will Gadal get all this insight, you know? Oh, yeah, this, is the, this is the direct reference, see? I was like, blah, blah, blah stuff. I don't know exactly. I'll have to look that up. More wrong, false lies. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Why? Why? <laughs> Nostalgia critic. Friends aren't supposed to show affection through facial expressions. That's gay. This is how you should look at your bros. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh, so you got 
Uh, a meme about, I guess, Splat? It's, it's too pixely. And then, wait, this is the worst meme of all time? Always has been. Wait, this is the second worst EFAP meme of all time? Always had been. This meme brought to you by the... I swear, <laughs> if I see one more goddamn Splat gang. Yeah, the, see, the Splatness is just is too much for some people. And so, I think Splat himself had a response to this meme. What happens. Bit of a rush job, sure. It's not a classic spot, but it's got the water, which is what counts. <laughs> Average spot hater. <laughs> <laughs> Another hilarious meme. <laughs> when you cry to make your own puddle of tears, it becomes clear who the loser is. Yeah, I told you I would spot meme. Saving Private Splat? This is like saving him in the meme war. <laughs> Here's my superiority has led to some spawn traversy. <laughs> Look at that smile. Quite the chat. Pre, pre Smugheimers. That's what's up. Now we've even got crossover memes. Make a meme calling Splat the worst meme so it'll die. Spot fans make counter memes. Spot haters make counter counter memes. All memes are now spot memes. Yeah, it kind of backfired. <laughs> like all memes, Spot just needed his time, and then he will leave you alone. Two hundred thousand spots already, with a million more on the way. Oh my god. Yeah. Don't underestimate the power of Spot. I think he showed up a couple times in the newest champ up. Should. It, counter memes. Spot is hilarious. Why? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then you have Spot is bad. Why? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to believe? This is Spotaganda in both oh directions. Wait, this is the worst EFAP meme of all time? Always has been. The gene just looking awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, look, it's the Little Hope starter pack. Up to and including four friends. Press W is the illusion of free choice. Suicide prevention hotline. <laughs> um, but yeah, th th that, that, that game was, uh, it was intense with the amount of walking forward you had to do. Mm. Ten hours per hour? You gotta be, you're kidding, right? Ten dollars per hour? Uh, that could be true. Yeah. How much did it cost, Mel? Do you remember? Too much. Too much. <laughs> Seems like Super they're out giant, to ruin Halloween's. Like, that's the whole thing. Super massive, right? That's an. Yeah. What's the name of the. No, they're super. Because Super Giant, there's a good one called Super. I need to. <laughs> I want to get it right. Because there's one that's called Super Giant and Super Massive, and one of them is good and one of them is awful. Hold super on. Super Giant's wanna... the good one. Super Massive's the bad one. Pretty sure. They've never made anything good. Until <laughs> Dawn sucks. Yes. Yeah, Super Massive. They're the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the bad one. All they do is make these shitty anthology games that aren't good. See, being a massive catch. is good, but a super massive? Oof. Oof. Uh, I'm gonna grab a drink, I shall be right oh. back. Alright. A classic spot. And then you got a bit of a, a bit of a moment. A moment. Don, why does the brood hate me so? All I wish to do is bring joy to their hearts. They keep saying I am the worst, comparing me to your infinite compassion. Your immense kindness. How could I ever be as good as you, Don? Do not worry about being as good as me, my child. There can only be one meme like me. Be the best version of yourself you can be. Do not let those who hate you keep you from growing. Aw. Oh, wow. That's just nice and uplifting. Yeah. So, you know, Splat is just trying to make people happy and people are getting all upset at him. So he, he bled to the Don himself. Gotta take that into consideration. <laughs> all Mrs. Rag's last known Facebook post petting my grandson. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if uh, Rags, are you, are you there? Because <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Oh damn, I forgot that I think it's, it's Rags Oh hmm. uh -huh. I'm not sure We can oh. hear Yeah <laughs> We cannot hear you. 
We can hear you. Ah. That's all Hello? going to shit. Hello. 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 Hi, how long was I quiet? Uh, all the sport memes had no commentary from you. Oh, I was saying sport's great. I, agree. I really enjoy sport, and I like the sport memes. Sport is wonderful, and I really like the little hope starter pack in particular. It was really great. <laughs> and the old Miss Rags last known Facebook post was very funny. <laughs> Betting my grandson. Oh, I think we've shown this one before, but it's such a classic. You got your Galathar. 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 And then you got your reimagining of Galathar. Which <gasps> oh, yeah. oh my ball. god. Yeah, that one's incredible. Love that. That bet is... I love the bet. <laughs> it better be. Yeah, because you know the kid knew. He was like, if I make it small, Galathar will be upset with me. <laughs> have a big tall bed and he'll leave me alone. So obviously this is where Galathar, Galathar lives. He doesn't intend to eat the child. This is just, you know... Or later, but yeah. <laughs> wonderful image. That's really good. Watch. Galathar is great. Where'd you get that name? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> same place I get a lot of them. The, the, ah. the land of combining names and stuff. You can see, because Galathar is clearly um, gel with Lar Lathar. and Thor, <clears throat> but altered a bit. You see how it all comes together now. It makes sense. Like that altered a bit. I mean, when words are altered a bit, they're different words generally. Yeah. <laughs> Entirely. True, but Frog Lady kind of hot, not going to lie. Well. I don't know about that. Like there's a competition there for you. <laughs> I mean, she's, I, I really like her because the way she moves and she emotes. Um, and the midget they put in there can to clearly like make good expressions and stuff. But uh, mm. yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm a fan. I, I like Gecko Girl. And then I ate her babies, your Danable Lecter. <laughs> yeah, can't be trusted. Put them in restraints. Oh, I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, and then he leaves. Ditched it. <laughs> yeah. I assume that happened writing wise because they couldn't have them bring him in because that would be. He would fuck with the narrative, I guess. And it would mean he'd lost his ship. I don't know. Like it's so weird. They just save his life and then abandon him. It's like okay, yeah. Hey then. Moff Gideon, just tell me to put that baby in shackles. We have baby shackles. Holy <laughs> shit! Are we the bad guys? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny that they just happen to have baby shackles ready. I'm sure they made them ready for Baby Yoda. You know. Oh my god, Game of Thrones meme that I don't even know that. I think I'm the only one here who will even know what this is from, episode-wise, but, uh... Wilfer Brimley, Wilfer Brimley, Wilfer Brimley, Will you bring me, what you bring, what you bring me, yeah? <laughs> the natural progression. Oh, this one's neat. Look at that. <laughs> That's Yay! Cool. Hmm. I like, wait, wait, I like wait, how Frags is a little baby there in the... <laughs> he looks so comfy. I'm gonna stop a charge in space, Rhino, if he fucks with you. Yeah. And, 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 oh like, no, that means that Luke Skywalker took me to his Jedi temple. Oh no, <laughs> that's not where I would have been. No. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Kylo Ren might just kill Baby Yoda. Oh. See what they do with it. Oh, this is terrifying in a way, yeah. Surprised. Action from Um. So yeah, man. Just... Oh, <laughs> look at those eyes! The eyes of true <laughs> terror getting sucked into that metal. The Grouch. <laughs> yeah, by the face. It should be on the movie poster whenever you get that done. The yeah, metal. A dreamer story. Autism story. Da, 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 da. With my childhood girl literature. You too can be a woman hunting Chad. Movie note, <laughs> Bob. He's got Judy Bloom down no. there. Uh, just remember, this man said that he reads children's books to get pussy. <laughs> no, don't say it again. <laughs> don't say it. It's... Squat, squatron God. Oh. <laughs> 
I don't play Skyrim or Oblivion or whatever, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah. This is this is um this is Star Citizen. Oh. Cuz this what, is a it doesn't exist. Star Citizen exists. Well, it, it's never coming out. <laughs> it doesn't seem that way. I don't know. Um because I have friends who play it pretty regularly, and from what I've seen of the stuff they've been doing in it, it is, like, really insanely impressive. Mm. I mean, you would hope so. I'm pretty sure that game has, like, crowdfunded $300 million. Like, it, it, I'm yeah, pretty sure it's, like, um, the most expensive game ever made by that metric. But is it I coming mean, out? I, That's my question. Is it being released properly, like a full I release? I think there will is be a 1.0. But well, I mean, my I, I'm position... sure that there's supposed to be a 1.0, but, like, is that coming out yet, or is that... Because this game, like I said, this game was developed, like, beginning in 2012. It's 2021. Let me look up Star Citizen release date. Um... Uh, I looked it up, and there is none on Wikipedia. <laughs> oh. There's a part of me that... So, my position has been, since 1.0 for a game is basically purely arbitrary anyway... Um, as long as a game continues to be supported and updated, I don't care if it's ever finished. Don't false that as long as you don't false advertise and it's a working product, like that that's all you need. So you're telling me that I can like buy a copy of Star Citizen from somewhere, just like transaction for hey, one you copy can... of Star Citizen, please, or do I have to give them a well, certain people, yeah, of money people are playing. Butter? Well, yeah, that's the sense, I mean, that's it, right. I guess that's what I'm asking is like, I do think that games should eventually, you know, be released. And it's like, hey, here well, is when the, you say the released, of the game. Uh, like so, a retail copy of some sort, like a game that I don't have to like crowd, like, as in, I can go to a storefront this... or a store and say one copy, please, of this game. What is the what is the big distinction between the two? Um, well, I mean, if a game is early access, I can still buy a copy of that game on early access. I guess I'm asking is like, is there a storefront where I can buy one copy of Star Citizen that is now mine? Or do I have to crowdfund it a certain amount to get access to it? Well, that's sort of just a replacement for buying it, isn't it? Is it? What? If, because I don't own it at that point, do I? If I'm crowdfunding Do you own your digital games it, anyway? Um, to a certain extent, yeah. In the same way... Probably own your rights to play well, Star Citizen. Well, I guess his. Well, can they take it away from you at any time, though? Like, could they just be like, "All right, we're pulling it down." Like, their Star Citizen is down, and we can't. Like, is that? I mean, I. If I they guess can in do theory, that, they could. That would, but yeah, but well, I guess so can, that's what I mean, right? Like, so well, can no, they can't. A, I, a of copy of my game. A copy of my game can't be pulled off. You know, like it can't well, if be. The servers go down, unusable. or if they ban you. Oh, sure. If the servers go down, but my copy itself can't be rendered on i i don't know if that's how it actually works here i guess i'm just wondering like is this game coming out or is it uh, yeah just... i assume so with all the work and all the things that they, they've been putting into it yeah, they either it intend to constantly... 2014 <laughs> yeah it was it was originally meant to come out in 2014 it's been yeah, seven and I guess extra it got... years i mean from what i've seen it's insanely impressive and i could see myself playing it and i'm I've... sure i could see myself playing it when it's out but it's not so I, just... it's a... I mean what's that point for you is it up for them to decide when it's out or is well it... i guess well i mean surely because could... 1.0 like, is that's a pretty an arbitrary distinction is... Surely there is an amount of time... Well, it depends, right? If there was like, hey, here's what the game will be in terms of its feature set. This is what we're going to promise, what we're going to deliver. That's, and then that changes arbitrary. later on. What, well, what do you mean it's arbitrary well, that the, the game is like a one Them deciding release? what the... Their first, pro, their first promise or their first declaration of this is what its features will be when it's up. That could... That list could be anything that they want to um, have it be. What, so like if as i as long as if, they don't if, you, if i were making like a mario game and i'm like all right so 1.0 is all of the levels that we have decided to put into this game that's not arbitrary that's that yeah, is, is there is a well, what do you mean it's arbitrary if you decide this is how many levels we're going to do and once we're done with them that is the that is the extent of the game and this is There's what 1.0 is well a game if you're making a game you are the person who decides what yeah, but the that doesn't make it content will just be. because you make yeah, it is, a decision doesn't mean it. It. 
Why would it be arbitrary just because you because made it? Because it could have been anything though? else. It could have been all kinds of different things. You decided to make it those what you, particular criteria. What do you mean it could criteria. have been all kinds? What, what about all of the other things that bound? Like, it's not arbitrary if it's like, oh, I want my game to have an infinite number of levels or something. And then, and then you'd be like, well, that's like that's arbitrary. Possible. It's like, so well, then it's by not saying arbitrary because you can't do whatever you want. <laughs> you have a certain amount of money and a certain amount of time and a certain amount of things that you're capable of if doing. If you're saying that it's not arbitrary because they can't have some, because infin infinity is not even a number of levels. Well, I'm saying like, it's, it's not arbitrary because there are reasons for these. Like if there's a you reason, still... it's not. You can I'm still sure, have like, things. Arbitrary that... means for no reason, or like it's just it doesn't mean anything. Let me check. And if there's a reason, yeah. So arbitrary definition based on random um, choice or personal choice whim, or personal rather than whim, any rather reason. Than, or... Yeah, right. So um, it literally isn't arbitrary then at all because if you have a reason for why you uh, decided that something is one pointer, it's over. Like it's not arbitrary. Can any? Can, well, wait, wait. That <laughs> means literally not... nothing. Wait, that means nothing can be arbitrary because everything's for a reason. I guess there would be, like, when we talk about a reason, it's beyond just, I mean, like they said, it's beyond just a whim or something. Like, a whim is technically a reason in the broadest possible meaning, but it's not really, at least not in the way that we mean it. Based on random choice, so random would be or arbitrary. Or personal whim. Yeah, rather than any reason or system. So there is a, a meaningful distinction, and that means that it's not arbitrary. Not between when you decide wait what between one... crowdfunding and buying a finished product well, no, what and I... the content you get. Because I no, we're don't talking about whether one. You said you said 1.0 is arbitrary. It's not because there's uh, usually, there's always I still a think reason in a, for it. If I you still roll think the dice and you're like, all right, that's a 1.0. That would be arbitrary, but it's not. It can't be not based nah, on this you, definition. because that's you still have personal whim, and I don't, I don't, I'm what, really what, not keen on this what definition. What is personal whim? Like if, if Activision is like this is the 1.0 version of Call of Duty, that's not personal whim. They chose that on purpose. Well, like, uh, I guess it's in in the sense of it didn't have to be that thing. It could have been a but wide range of things that they selected. Everything could have been anything. Like that's you could apply that to like so many things. Like it's arbitrary uh, that no. has not everything be. has to be a thing. What well, like if I mean, you're saying I mean, like it, it could have been something else. Everything ever is arbitrary, like just in existence when it comes to media. Like the Mandalorian is arbitrary because it could have not been the no, Mandalorian. I'm, I'm just talking about like in the sense of like how many levels you're gonna do. I think that can be man uh, arbitrary. Uh Usually levels are decided by like how much time and money you have to make a game. I feel like usually? that's not arbitrary. So so usually they can be, so sometimes they're not. That's a, that still doesn't make it arbitrary just because I said of they that reason. can be arbitrary. They can be arbitrary Yeah, only if it was like, how many levels are we gonna have? Let's roll a dice or something, and then they just pick whichever one it lands on. Or if they're like all right, how many levels should it have? Oh, 50. And then there's no more discussion after that. Then it would be arbitrary. But if there was any discussion at all, it would no longer be arbitrary because you're figuring out a reason for it. I would say in the sense of what makes something 1.0 is if it's not how can arbitrary. It be? How can it be based on what we've just talked about? If, if it was arbitrary, it means it was either random or they didn't think about it. And they definitely would have either thought about it or made a decision on it. Like, th 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 there is no way, considering how video games are made and like production pipelines and everything like that, that there was never a conversation about what should constitute the launch version of a game. I I don't know. I, I don't know. I would say that I think there are absolutely games where they don't even, they're not even sure about what their 1.0 will be. Maybe they're not sure what their 1.0 will be, but once they decide what their 1.0 is, they literally could have guessed. They could have guessed before they decided what it was, but then they did decide what it. Then they do decide what it is, and then it's no longer arbitrary. Because the, after deciding, if if you're, well, I you mean, can make a decision the, and have it be arbitrary. Once the decision has been to, well, what do you mean? Like, it, again, to be arbitrary would have to be either random or they didn't think about it. That they were just like, oh, fuck it, this is 1.0, and then that's it. Which I can't believe, especially, you know, it, 
you know, in the context of a game that costs like three hundred million dollars, they definitely well, would have had some idea of what their one point oh is. Well, the, the the point of what I'm saying is that if you have a game like Star Citizen that is constantly being updated and worked on and there is a very high assurance about its continued existence based on the investment that goes into it in the team and the company, etc. I don't see a meaningful distinction between crowd entering the crowdfunding to get the right to play it and buying it on a digital storefront for the right to play it. Um yeah, maybe, but that was you said that 1.0 is arbitrary though. Okay, I I I I've said that very <laughs> casually. I don't I I, yeah, but then I you defended don't really it. care. <laughs> yeah, cuz no, I, I still so thought I was right, but I didn't it's like I'm not really um, tied to it that much. I guess I can totally understand I don't the whole really idea of like a arbitrariness at all. I can I can okay, I can understand like the idea of a persistent game and the whole idea that like, you know, there is no final state, like absolutely. Um I got to imagine though that there is a point where it's like this is the the game that was meant to be, you know, and then we can progress from there. Like this is at least this is like at least what we we wanted or promised. That there is some point where it reaches that. Yeah, as sure as they don't there, false there be, as long right? as they don't like, false advertise. Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, they don't have to finish ever. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't even think they have to make... release a one point ever. Well, I guess what I mean is like if there was the the game as it you know comes out, it's like so. What does it have? Well, it has our campaign mode, and it has like all of the main features of multiplayer. It's playable. It's relatively uh, bug free, obviously, because it would have some bugs. And then there's like such and such amount of content to justify like whatever price would be standard for it. And then you could expand from there, but I feel like that's a commonly understood version of like what the launch game is. If they if they wanted to have those, sure. Like if, if they released it as it is right now, I bet that it would have more content than almost probably sure. the majority it of finished games. got 300 million dollars of funding though, so I would expect that. <laughs> And it's been developed for like 10 years, so that's probably to be expected at this point. Sure, And of course, yeah. factoring in that there are people who have spent a lot more than 60 bucks on this game. There are people who spent like thousands of dollars hey, on it to make They it wanted happen. to. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's their choice. I guess it's just, um, this is like one of the most expensive games ever made, and it's been in development for like 10 years, and it's not done yet, and it just makes me wonder like what's happening. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe those two well, things they, are they... tied together. As far as I know, they had to build a completely new engine for their game. Ah. And maybe the fact that's, that it, that's, because that's... it has been developed for that long, that means that it is one of the most, is the most expensive game ever because it has been developed at that level. Well, the for main that reason why it's so expensive is because it's received it's that new. much money in crowdfunding. Yeah, yeah. It, like, well, I, yeah I think well, in that sense, yeah, the people have. Well, yeah, it, it's. It, like if they have an idea and they present the idea and they get a bunch of money, like more money than they ever thought that they would get, at that point they'd have to decide like, okay, that's pro that's probably the reason why when they said 2014. And I'm just guessing. Um, I don't know much about the development itself, but I would imagine, at least I would guess, that because it got so much money, they decided to just keep it going and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more and more. Is that feature creep though? Maybe? Um, depends I mean, on how you I, define I, it, I, I suppose. A, well, you you start adding more features than you'd originally intended to the point that it starts to get out of control. I don't think I mean, it's out of control, cool. though. I mean, if you wanted to release your game in 2014 and it's 2021, well, and it's, you know when, what I mean? Like, if you set out, when, if, if you want to release a game in 2014 and then you get an insane amount of money that you never thought you'd get, and you still want to create this, like you want it, like now maybe the vision you originally had in your head is now, mm. you know, financially doable now. I could totally understand them saying, all right, so we wanted to release this in 2014, but now we actually have the budget to create what we really wanted to do. So we're going to do that and we're going to make it piece by piece. And every step of the way, everyone who gave to us can play the builds of the game and help us develop it. Um... Yeah, I mean, I would, I guess that would be like the most charitable way of viewing what's happening. Yeah, Cause, I guess. Because I, because from what I've seen, because because the people who play it regularly that I talk to, 
it is like the fact that the game is a meme uh, is a scam is a meme to them like they're going around doing all this stuff and looking at all the things in the game and saying mockingly oh but it's just a scam guys oh right, well i mean i never said a, like yeah that's yeah i'm not just what saying I, think. I just it just seems like a game that's kind of massively ballooned and may never get I don't, I guess, I, I mean, surely it has to come out at some point. I guess it's just, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, as a finished game, quote unquote, well, maybe, like as a game sure. that, that is like, a, you know, like a, the kind of thing that would be bought by people in, in like retail, I guess, you know, like the idea of a mom. Can I don't know. Oh, Star I mean, Citizen, is... my kid might like that, that, you know, that kind of state. Well, I don't know. I mean, this seems like a game that sort of like pushes the boundary that it, with its scale and the amount of things um, going on yes. in it and the stuff I, that's happening. I, that I mean, it's worth noting, like, this game sounds really cool, but, like, when it's done, <laughs> like, I mean, then I, I'd probably jump on board. It looks pretty amazing right now. But like, it, it's kind of nuts. It's in alpha, so it's definitely not, like, unless alpha and beta and all that don't mean anything either. I, but, like, I feel like they, it's um, not... I mean, it's probably based on what they want their finished product to be. Um, right. But I would, I would certainly say that anyone who like pays them money now to play it, it doesn't it doesn't look like they're wasting their money. Um, yeah, I suppose depending on how much money you you know you. Oh yeah, if you pay a thousand dollars, like I hope you really really enjoy this game if you're paying a thousand bucks for it. Hmm. But like, some people pay a thousand dollars to paint Warcraft miniatures, so more power to them, I suppose. Well, I mean, everybody has, you know. Yeah, everyone has their hobbies. Then. I mean, like the game, the game looks really cool. I just, you know, <laughs> I, I think I, mean, like, I want to wait until it's, you know, where it's, where it's, uh, in a place where I can, like, you know, where it feels like it's, um, at least done or like close to being done. So that would be based off. Uh, so if you, I think that, well. Like, with okay, a, if it had an actual, him. like, release date, you know, in a sense of, like, here is when you can buy, like, Star Citizen on Steam or something. Let me actually ask him and see what he says about that. I'm going to ask him if the game was, like, if someone gave you this game and said it was, like, a complete, or, like, a, a 1.0 of a game, would that surprise you? So, um... Um, but how much money did they put into it? I don't know. I feel like that might influence how you feel about something if you've actually paid for it. So they've, so they feel like it's worth. So they well, would have already might be decided one of two it's worth. Might either feel like it's worth it to post hoc justify the purchase, or they maybe vehemently think it sucks because it wasn't what they expected and they paid for it. I feel like one of those. Two so it could go either way. It could go either way, but <laughs> it's usually that it's more vehement than it might be if it's like somebody who hasn't. Not always. If it was. Some, and if it was continued payments, where they consistently decided to pay more money, because I guess they that would be different, right? Enough. Yeah, because it's like you're almost consistently investing in it because you believe in it and you think it's valuable. Yeah. Um. um sorry, I totally derailed the memes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I guess I would say Star Citizen is a game that, like, I could totally see myself losing myself in that game same here um it looks insanely complex and the amount of stuff that is in the game that has come out for it and that are playing like all of the stuff that are that's they're planning to do with it if i was gonna gamble money it would be that they would have those things implemented um i totally believe that this is legitimately <laughs> like somebody in some teams like life and labor of love to create this kind of game that's never been made before in this yeah, scale absolutely. and with this complexity and intricacy. Um, I would like to play it at some point. <laughs> Just um, not now. Well, I maybe you think. should look at a list of features in it and see if that sort of matches up what you would um, uh, what you'd I want. I guess, like, from what I think I want is, like, I'd like to play the game when it has its single-player mode as well. Um, Which I've seen parts of, and it Hamill is very in impressive. It. Yeah, yeah like it looks Hamill really cool. It. Let's, Mark Hamill, I think it's got um, uh, 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 Commissioner Gordon, uh, Gary King. Oldman, Gary Oldman. Yeah. Ah. They got a lot of actors. That's where that three hundred million is going <laughs> to get all these actors to do it. Uh, let me. I'll ask him anyway. Um. Shall we continue with the memes though? Sure. I'm willing. Wait, uh, wait what memes? Plenty of spot memes. What memes? 
<laughs> uh, where are we? Uh, uh. So difficult. Get by. I'm just re just... There we are. More memes. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Capital opinions. Is it impossible to keep with this chat? Yeah, because because I think this is when we were just having there was some fights, you know, with chat back and forth, different arguments, <laughs> and it's just so hard to keep up with them when they have different opinions going back and forth. It's chaos, and they run around. He's got two heads. He does. Uh, he's he's uh. What, what, what are they? Cisco and Ebert. That's they're the ones. Oh. Those icons. They are. They are peak, yin and yang. Uh, peak, peak movie reviewers. That's why he's. <laughs> why he's them. <laughs> they're fine. They just like to run around. This one's uh. This one's recent. Oh, me, me and Frongo. About to. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah yeah. Do some killing. That's right there. That was the um. Was that the uh the idea of the Lovecrafts? But oh, I don't know. I think they just said they would like to see us in this situation shooting things. I guess with these weapons, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Um, when Metal loses his shit and starts riding around with his tank, <laughs> doesn't even care <laughs> what longoids he might run over. Terrifying. True. This one's kind of scary. Inverted spot. Oh god. Tropes. Tropes. <laughs> oh my goodness, is that blood? <laughs> oh no. Uh, blood is the inverse of water. I don't know if we can question too much about what's happened here, but it ain't good. He's white on black instead of black on white. Oh hey, look, we got some uh, storyboard versions of that edgy the hedgy. Oh boy. Got an SMG. How cool is that? Really mm. cool. Yeah, I mean, that's nothing cooler than an SMG, you know? And he fires it, and, like, he doesn't even really have to reload if he doesn't want to. He just keeps going. Exactly. Incredible. He powers it with coolness. Hol Holio. What? <clears throat> oh, look, it's one of these drawings. Edgy the, the, the Tasm 2 discussion. Edgy the <laughs> hedgy. Look how tall you are, Fringy. Oh. Um, you are god very damn, tall. my head is like bigger than Rags' entire body. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Big brain. Look at me down Imagine there. seeing that running at you from down the street. <laughs> what, you're the <not laughs> best. They'd be like, oh god, it's an emu. And it's poison. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, could you imagine this? Like, if you know, if it was um, if it was a war and it was like the middle of the night, the Second Great Emu War, when it eventually comes, like if uh, you had machine gun nests in a big trench and you're staring down a street and then you hear like some screaming, like Caw -caw! like off in the distance, <laughs> and you hear this then the ground starts and, to shake. Yeah, the ground starts to shake, and you start firing. And, well, they and need the like a theater. It's like Starship Troopers or the Great Wall. You gotta get a general well, I like to the get a idea speech. Of before they uh, come. what a speech before yeah. they come yeah. yeah but no this is our gritty world war ii emu war so like as you're firing and it lights up you see the silhouettes of all these emus cast against the background as they charge at you be horrifying make it happen hollywood make it happen make well it happen, i mean yeah i, I want to make it happen i want to make an XCOM style game <laughs> of the emu war holy shit what one. is this it's doom sausage. It's sausage sailor moon yeah Oh, but Doom. So, but Doom. So, so it's, I get one. the Doom sausage. What does the Sailor Moon part have to do with it? Uh, uh, it must be something to do with him on Twitter. I, I don't remember. Though I understand this one completely. Weekend spot. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Ah, this one. So, this, this one came from the stream we did with, with, with Sitch and, uh, and Adam. Got um, oh, yeah. <laughs> talking about utilitarianism and how it gets complicated when you involve animals, and then I was like, "Well, yeah, it's going to, it's going to be complications. Like, uh, imagine how complicated it'll get when we get to aliens or AI." And Sargon was just like, "Nope, both of them are out of here. Alien rights yeah. and robot rights can go for no themselves." No thing. Yeah. So we were like, "We're gonna have our AI." In, in AI our, and our alien house. clubhouse, and you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look, Look at his eye. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like he didn't think this through. He doesn't get to hang out in our treehouse. Yeah, I mean, and look at that. Look at that robot with the. Is that a robot like a uh, bitch with with big boobies? Yeah, robot bimbos. 
Sucks. I mean, you you know that that's like going to be like hard. That future armor oh, episode yeah. with the robots, that's like happening. that's that <laughs> that's, happening. that's happening. It's going to be a major market for it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be like a multi-trillion dollar industry. Rags of old. <laughs> we got, Rags of old. Got a whole bunch of Hero Forge ones. Uh, oh, wait. Look at those titties. I'm looking good. <laughs> Wrong order. Where oh yeah, here's a a rendition of Emperor Bola. Oh like my rags. god. Pretty cool. Yeah. Because used to nice. be. Do they add color to it? Because remember, we used to get a couple of these, but in like a gray. Uh, I think color is a new feature that they have. Um, Pretty neat. But yeah, I don't think you used to be able to do color. And what's cool about the Hero Forge stuff is that you can have these made for you in, out of different materials and finishes, and they get, they'll get they ship that. it to you. Sounds nifty. So, I don't know. Yeah, it is very nifty. I mean, some of these really do straight up. They're just like, oh. Yeah, oh, wow. I'm a big fan of that one. I like that wow. one. Actually. Wow, that's yeah. cool. That is really nifty. <clears throat> and I don't know if this is like a different sort of thing. Oh, I'm guessing it's a different thing, but still. Yet another one. Yeah, nifty. A different feet in this one. They allow you to frog jump, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Here with the white Samari. Yeah, feeling froggy. <coughs> the white Samari. <laughs> oh, he's even got the pose, yeah. Oh, look, it's DS bullshit. He's the ice pack, though. Even as yeah, the that's char. probably the closest you're going to get to a char, yeah. Oh, look at this. Since when did you have a monocle metal? That's a good question. That's I don't know. That's a cyborg eye, isn't it? No. <clears throat> Seven uh, book, commander right? of metal? Uh. Hmm. That's weird. They they would have earmuffs, but not earphones, huh? Yeah, you think? We got two different renditions of of Jay, the Jester hero, perhaps. The and I I almost wanted to go to biker first, just because of the, <laughs> the <laughs> biker because <laughs> the pants. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, and of course, how could we forget the dawn? Oh, look at oh, it, golden! Nice. I want that up on my mantle. Like, I want this <laughs> here somewhere in my house. This is an item of worship. <laughs> yeah, and then of yeah, course, yeah, gold is one of the finishes you can get. Blue I think. <laughs> oh, blessing of the blue sport. <laughs> That'd be a fun video game. Sp Wait, Super F Sport Brothers. F for what's the F for? F what? <laughs> Fwart. Well, that's that's Fwart. So that's his brother. So there's Spot and Fwart. <laughs> Fwart is like Luigi. Spot's Mario, and um, yeah. they're gonna go on their adventure across the uh, Flume Kingdom. Mm -hmm. What would be the enemies if there was like a Spot game and it was a platformer? What would the enemies be? <clears throat> Jeans. E Efat villains. I don't know. Jeans. <laughs> Lots of. Well, no, like... the Efat villains would be the bosses, right? So like, what would be the well, you can minions? Find minions though. Minions. Um. I guess I if we, we want our standard someone. Cooper, I'm Disnoids. wondering what that would be. Disnoids? Well, it, well like, EFAP <laughs> villains would be, they, they would the be bosses. McDonald's food. You'd have the burgers, fries, oh, sodas, oh chicken my. nuggets. Yeah. Fries and like burgers come to life and you have to kill them. And the final boss is Diabito. And he, you know, he's like, Bowser. <laughs> yeah, your, your basic enemy is the burger. You know, and then the fries though, the fries they would like it'd be a, it'd be a, a a tub of fries or a what are they called mm. a cardboard and they like throw, a, they, throw they throw fries, fries at you yeah. when they come yeah back, they'd be like, like missiles yeah. yeah they come They're out of like, it like the, a rocket the hammer dudes yeah oh oh yeah that's you could have Giant like um, flying burgers as well and um and the and, chicken uh, nuggets they could be like could the be, flying like, enemies and they could float around and fly the little the chicken nuggets. Level it could be like environmental, like boulders, but they're just chicken nuggets and they roll and you gotta jump over them or something. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. maybe the Coke. Oh, the Coke could be turrets where you'd have these stationary cups of Coke and the straws could point yeah. at you and they would shoot Coca-Cola at you or another delicious tasty <laughs> beverage. And it would like yeah. splash when it hits. You have to stay out of it. And yeah, and it's all on point because that means that Diabeta was watching you through his, his little security cameras and he was operating all of like, the sugar. No. Good, good. And, yeah. and you could all have all kinds things. of different McDonald's food. So 
and then he sends yeah. his yeah. subordinates like you know sub boss quinton or patrick you know it'd be great yeah like the little koopalings or whatever the hell they're called and you can summon the dawn probably like if you unlock if you collect all the collectibles or whatever fight with you uh, against oh, detail. If you, like you fight him like yoshi if they collect all <laughs> of, like the top tier efap memes in the game like the gags oh. are in simpsons game or the hit and run there you go we made a game guys <laughs> Wow, Sick. we made we came up with the ideas. Now you got to do all the work. <laughs> ben <Programmers> Spolo, <laughs> <laughs> Ben Spolo. I like this one a lot. Oh yeah, that's good. Ben Spolo. Plot holes don't matter. You're watching me. That is a book look. That's just <laughs> nice. And I can't imagine a book written by Patrick Wells. Imagine that with write. STEM. You put that in your bookshelf and every time you Ugh. walk past it, oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It speaks as well. Yeah. From my point of view, Theo is right. I mean, <laughs> Theo is right a lot, so, you know? Theo is right a lot, yeah. Just because you guys disagree with him on the Clone War. Well, you disagree, which is fine. But, um, <laughs> you know. But he's, he's I look, a lot of I look very cat-like. You do look very yeah, cat-like. You got the little, the, yeah. the, I look very. You look a bit like Rocket, but yeah, orange. I look like um. Uh, I don't I even know. The orange isn't a, a cat, but <laughs> you get what I mean. Mm. That's yeah. It, it, it could. It, it's it's a viable cat color. Oh, look at what they can achieve with such limited pixels. Oh, oh that's awesome. yeah. Aww. <laughs> yeah, let's shit on things people like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> let's shit. Let's make people sad. Oh my God. Yeah, basically, with a smile so on my face, I'm so happy. Yeah, oh, this is fan art. Big Regular flawless. rags into a cute old man. <laughs> the champion of being flawless. Yeah, it's a tough fight. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you can never really know who would have won. Ultimately, all right. There's no guarantee. This is, this is the battle of great minds. <laughs> this is uh. You remember that the video we watched of the guy Chase Face showed us of just recording people, um, with his camera, and he's he kept saying it's fine. It's a video. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's video. that sounds like it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, the video is absolutely just, the point of it is to show how people react to it, and they clearly fucking the died. They just made a Spider-Man vision. They made a whole color. Oh. oh, New York, you know, you could be quite beautiful. Gr ah, Green Goblin. Oh, hey, Spider-Man. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, just a video. <laughs> Stop it. What? Stop it. Hey, Spider-Man, it's just a video. <laughs> I like how it just doesn't even address the question. At all. <laughs> oh yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, just, oh, that's right. I, I, that was the, 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 the guy. Yeah, the guy who so does the filming. The, the, the meme almost was the everybody always says like, "What are you doing?" He goes, "No, it's just a video." No, no it's fine. Like, it's just thanks. a video. No, it's Thanks just a for video. answering my question. Yeah, like, like dude, <laughs> people get very angry very quickly. Naturally. Oh my god, this is an old man. Uh, when when I think Drinker said, shouldn't the FBI have been involved with the uh, the fairy thing? And I was like, they were involved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you were yelling <laughs> and slamming you down the desk. This was this was before animated. I realized that I still had years of terrible homecoming arguments to deal with, <clears throat> and still do. It's a wonderful, wonderful time. We don't like Avengers: Civil War. That's okay, chat. That's okay. <laughs> Some of you do. It's okay to be wrong, all right? Just you'll grow out of it. Squat, gene, yeah. guard, and guard. Speed. Guard. <laughs> oh guard god, this speed. abomination. <laughs> speen, sport, gene, guard, speen, guard, and speen. It's the family tree. Oh, this is adorable. This is when I don't want to do the longing myself, so I have a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for that protected content. The sacred cow's coming. <laughs> sacred cow's don't tall. stand a chance against me. I'm gonna step all over them. <laughs> some uh, alternative Mubler and rags. 
I don't know what universe this is, like... but something's happening. <clears throat> I'm like a mob boss. Yeah. Mm. In my I Pablo like a... Picasso fortress. Oh, a creepy demon you send after people, maybe? <laughs> For money? I'm like, yeah. you gotta pay, or I'll eat you. Just you just stare at them in a yeah. deranged way and their soul melts. I still mean for when Count Dankula came on. He's holding Jean. The wonderful outfit he's got there, yeah. I imagine Spot can use Jean as a boomerang. Yeah, that's true. He could bo he could be a boomerang themed <laughs> hero. This was um, when Nostalgia Critic was like, why didn't they go and save Gandalf? Why did they let him fall? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got you. <laughs> He's got one in his foot. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. It hurts. <laughs> I'll, I'll be okay, though. Ooh, this hurts. I'm old. There's two in Frodo's head. Assuming that's Frodo. I think it's Frodo. Yeah, yeah I think it's Frodo. Yeah. That's okay, he's wearing mithril. Articulation. Mm. Well, he's sorry. wearing mithril on his head, you're right. Well, the sign of oh my god. <laughs> head. Shad dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his head. Oh, god. I don't even remember the context for this, but... Uh... Yeah, Wait a second, I... It doesn't. I don't see ten horns and seven crowns. Yeah, where's the crowns? Boo. I'm being misled. Lies his way. Steer C1? What happened? So, um, this was... Um, an alternate sort of, you could say, iteration of of Jacob attacking the bats in Batwoman. Um, wow! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man! He's um, bow, now, bow, 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 he's sorting bow, them out. Bow, let's bow. just say that. You got, you got, did you like his? Uh, he's a Jew, <laughs> so he has the star of David. On. I love the shoulder mounted <laughs> Desert Eagle because yeah, <laughs> it's a should, Desert should Eagle. Do this, he's got the crows on crows his hat. Cap, yeah. He's even got the little wire that from his earpiece that just goes to nowhere. <laughs> It'll be and one of the unlockable weapons is Victor Zaz's surface to air <laughs> shoulder uh, pistol. Yeah, thing. Surface air. Totally you not. Can shoot not it into the air. Yeah. yeah pretty I like pretty intense idea. game. Make it happen, you know? Yeah. Doom three. Just call it Jacob. Jacob Eternal. Yeah. Jacob Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> This was a, a relatively new one. So. I'm looking ready to punch ah. something there. I'm charging up a fist. Oh, you're it's like, probably the boy you're like Jack two. Krauser. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly perturbed, to say the least. Like it. No ice. Alternate version of me as well. This feels more anime somehow. I could see it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if... Uh, I would be a hero or a villain. Who knows? I feel you like would. that could go one way or another. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Maybe I feel like you're the one to ask. Well, you know what? I wouldn't want to, to pigeonhole anything here. I, I think both of them at the same time. That's right. And the long man resists the fat rays of diabeto. <laughs> <laughs> this is pop fat rays there. of diabeto. Long man. <laughs> EFAP comics. I'd read them. I'd see what's up. See what's going on. Be pretty neat. Yeah. Reading is gay. Reading is gay. What will not tolerate your BS? I think Damn, it... that sport is ripped. Yeah. Never cool. But I think he skipped face day. <laughs> Holy crap, he looks like he could That's kick some ass. The spot to battle maybe Superman, you know? I could see it happening. It might Is be he standing in the puddle of his own urine, though? No, that's just water, man. Doesn't have to that's be urine. Just... <laughs> he just went for a swim. That's spot juice. Yeah, spot juice. <laughs> I like the idea that spot just seeps juice constantly. <laughs> Just something that Wakes the other up. heroes never address. They all just accept it. Yeah. Like, yeah <laughs> Nobody it. wants to ask him about it. Like, he, you know, he walks in and he's dropping everyone. Like, God damn it, I just mopped the floor. What's that? <laughs> oh, nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. I wouldn't want to, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Nobody yeah. wants to pick a fight with Squat. So we got that. That's that's Fuck a you. good chunk of memes. I think we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll try and get the other half for another recording. Oh. Now we're going to do, hopefully, copyright free. EFAP hopefully video memes 
All right, because who knows? Boys. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And then uh, next time we'll do more images and then all of the copyright definitely ones. And we'll do them in, you know, together so that they get hit with all of the copyright at the same time. And hopefully they'll fight Hooray. each other who, over who gets to own the video of memes. Mighty. Is everybody in? Mm. Oh, I'm yep. in. This is um, the snippet from when we were playing Resident Evil 5. <gasps> Clean on the nose. We could learn something. F to talk. I want to pay respects. Good, you're both here. Come. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sex room. <laughs> <laughs> Come. That was fun to play. Excellent dialogue. Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking classic game. But it's not scary, all right? That's correct. It's not scary. What everyone needs to remember. All right, <laughs> 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 oh, that's that fair enough. I mean, where's the lie, right? That's just a perfect. I think that really covers it. Yeah. yeah. All in total. This yeah. this pretty neat meme right here. That's I enjoy that. I have lost all respect for you, Muller. This is an utter embarrassment on your part, choosing to be blinded. I hate. I have never thought of you more of an idiot than right now. Your critiques are poor. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's a leak That's from so mean. Portal 3. Apparently they take Portal a few three, shots yeah. at my wig and I was like... Oh. Kinda sucks, but there we are. Now, I presume this will be copyright free, but this one, this one was a risky one, but I mean, it's just so amusing. Come. I mean, I... I knew you would come, but... <laughs> you've come. I have. <laughs> come. <laughs> Come. Oh, <laughs> oh, that must have been. Oh, when they were recording those lines, did no one I... say, "You know what? This just sounds weird." I have. Come. Oh, that that caught me off guard. That final come. <laughs> How strong is Beskar armor? <laughs> <laughs> like I was standing around with his head down like I wish I was oh, dead <laughs> if only there was some way to me. not be vulnerable in vulnerable he's like one punch man he just wants to not, well, Mr. B6 oh shit here we go the portal race Moolavis Mootal <laughs> Emi just entered the chat don't take this the wrong way battle I love you buddy but my money is on Mewsley <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's why Gee, the race. I wonder why. That's why the race is in quotations more, more to see how many times can Mala complete this while I complete it once. <laughs> Move away. Massive <laughs> faggot. Oh, you loud mouth. A rooty kitty cowboy. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, what's gonna happen? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, Antithesis, thanks for the gift of Sue, and thanks for the bees. <laughs> 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 I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job, me. Good job, me. <laughs> Thank you for assuming the party aircraft submission position. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> How long did so long it took you like 20 seconds to defeat it? No, well, that's obviously edited to, to fuck. Oh, I, obviously. I, uh, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. I'm not that good, Jesus. But some people are that good. Yeah. Well, yeah, some people are <laughs> weird. You know what, Mel, you might have to actually explain the context for this one. 
Oh, well, go ahead. Back to anyway. the demo. Oh, <laughs> Ow, yeah. <laughs> he has such a forgettable name. He's also dead. <laughs> <laughs> the chair comes in. Yeah, uh, that's what that's that's what I was playing. For, uh, I'm trying to get the, the oh the yeah. chair. Where are you? Oh, why is it doing that? D -d 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 Fine, I'll just Ow, yeah. <laughs> he has such a forgettable name. Yeah, <laughs> 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 so, yeah, uh Demos is Kratos' that's, brother. That's Kratos, yeah, that's his brother and you you fight with him uh during the final boss and you can make him attack, and every time you make him attack, Kratos goes like, Demos! Every time, <laughs> right, and you right. click that button a lot. <laughs> Demos! Forgettable name, how dare you. Yeah. Don't want all the hate. Why all the hate? Because gleams. You've chosen to be blinded by hate. True. Yeah. EFAP Gaming 15, apparently. <gasps> Oof. Oh, oh no. no, right in his dick. <laughs> oh no, I stabbed I him in his dick and I ran away. Man, I yeah. must be... <laughs> wonder what he did to, to you, me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't uh, remember what we were talking about, EFAP gave me 15, but it was relevant to that. Specifically. Yeah, he, he, he read all this as he was like growing up. Thing. But when he was writing the script, he thought, wait, maybe this sounds lame. I will now put put a part in this video that can make it look a bit more chatty that I that I, I read these because of what it can do for me, all right? And I just don't think you'd see Movie Bob say this ever ever again. But he, I'm pretty sure go. Movie Bob has the I'm pretty sure Movie Bob has the capacity of looking at his own scripts and saying, "Wow, this sounds lame." He would never make a video. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had to he had to compensate with this. Are, are you ready for him to compensate? You ready? Oh boy, oh, okay. yeah. here we go. Not that it was all that bad. I mean, in fact, I can offer with some experience that a teenage boy who's looking for ways to relate to girls his own age might find a working familiarity with the complete works of Judy Bloom to be very, 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 <laughs> very, very helpful. Oh my God. You're talking uh, about children. Uh, You're talking here? about children, Bob. Uh, oh, Bob. I said that like a post. Why do you just make me watch? Oh I, I like that the last image is him recording. Year old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <He'd> like, <laughs> yeah, it's time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Goodbye, Thomas. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> Gone but not forgotten, forever in our hearts. Yeah. Thomas. For this. Yeah. Do you think Thomas could pull? Uh, like movie Bob? No. No. Up a hill. Oh, yeah. No. This is just this is dictated by power levels. Come on. <laughs> Thomas is a Chad for sure, but I mean Uh this is called is EFAP Rags is a Digimon. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh wow! Rag. <laughs> <Rag. laughs> <laughs> awesome. I don't even. I don't even know. I remember Digi. Dude, I guess we talked about Digimon. At some point, probably. I can barely remember uh, Digimon, yeah. Digimon, digital yeah. monsters, Digimon are the champion. I only watched, like, the first-gen Digimon very casually as a very mm -hmm. small person. I remember. I watched it a ton back in the I day. I remember it very well. I had the OST on CD. Good old wow. Digimon. Mm -hmm. You got the wow. OST for Digimon. Yeah. The, the, the tunes were just that, they were that bopping, huh? Yeah, I was <laughs> jamming out. Did you I, get um? Did you get it as a gift or did you buy it yourself? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I think it was a birthday present. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, that's though. less embarrassing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, nah, not really. Well, there's nothing embarrassing <laughs> about buying a Digimon soundtrack. Is there not? No. 
<laughs> is there not? <laughs> he said that so confidently. Yeah, he's, he's, that's the position he's taken. Fine, right? yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. fair enough. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I that am, is a okay. I am Digimon. also a Pokemon uh, Digimon, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's a Digimon. I remember that visual. Yeah. longer <laughs> you did get longer oh yeah the phases i've clearly gone through incredible mm. stretch now that one yeah those are pretty awesome i like them neat yeah i mean those those spinning animations wouldn't have been easy to do so no. oh yeah good job. good job man time for another drink you drink so much i only drink like i don't seven like when you drink metal <laughs> <laughs> liar this is like a little making of, I guess, for a, like a 3D head. A little more complicated than you'd imagine, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't even know what uh, program this is. Yeah, I don't even know enough to know where to begin to even <laughs> guess at how complicated it is or isn't. Yeah. I, I am, this is not my area. Oh, look at that oh. reflection. Yeah. 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 We're in so many nice. forms of media, you know? Nice. And we oh, all nice. Enjoy him. You're a shiny boy. Um, shiny boy. So this is something. I think it's still more of a preview. But uh called EFAP memes the game. Oh boy. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic incel. <laughs> Very cool. Hello there, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the little balls for the rider. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's just others. He's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Holy crap. I'm <laughs> Oh God, they keep coming. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Milan, the last of <laughs> the Predator. Sexual oh, harassment. Sexual harassment. Round table. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> sexual harassment. Oh, oh, do we sexual... endorse this? <laughs> Team oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff's. <laughs> Went. The bag. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Rhino milk. <laughs> Rhino milk. <laughs> oh, H bomber guy. Launches a straw man that absorbs damage from objectivity attacks. Summons a horde of SJW minions. <laughs> Batwoman theme. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Hypocrisy is what he's firing. <laughs> he's shooting hypocrisy cannons. <laughs> Measured response. Straw man. He's Someone summoned to... a straw man. <laughs> An extra straw man. Oh, straw man is absorbing damage instead of him. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rhino milk. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a badass. I'm such a badass. High rags of the graffiti. Dun 
<laughs> I'm a thief. Is this guy supposed to be Alfred? <laughs> <laughs> we need you now more than ever. Believe no. my McMuffin. No. <laughs> We need you now more than ever. Find the fucking muffin. Hi. Shrek. <laughs> oh no! Kill the ball! Kill the ball! Oh my god! Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no! It's been. <laughs> 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 it's to place the cliff. <laughs> Where this fucking muffin's gonna be? <laughs> to breath poster. Go back. Baby Fury stores secret data in the cat. <laughs> Is the cat an Easter egg? Decode cat. Oh no. What is happening? Oh. Boy. oh. Uh oh. Don't be racist. I am a building. <laughs> oh, that's a thing, I think. <laughs> oh. Okay. The cat has been decoded. <laughs> Glad you decoded that cat. Mm mm mm. Oh no! <laughs> the Mary Sue thing is sexist. <laughs> <laughs> not even. Do... How brain dead do you think people are? <clears throat> oh, I just realized. Oh, my God. Definitely gonna get. Hooray! <laughs> 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 he just follows around. Shut up, <laughs> 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 I just keep <laughs> shouting at Rice. Plot of it. Oh no, hey. she's activated her Thanks, you have gone away. I'm gonna mute on my end because of the uh, the song. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh yeah, that's fair enough. If there's any clips, just let me know. Oh, one arm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Just one arm. laughs> God. Go fast, oh, you're out of ammo. Well, you're in trouble. Sanic. You, what happens if you shoot Finn? <laughs> He's just running. <laughs> He's oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, stop. Oh, the milk. Ray! <laughs> Ray! Oh, she's Force Ghost. <laughs> uh, I love Finn chasing after him. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, Captain Marvel, no. Not need a old by you to tell me what didn't work for him about a wrinkle in time. <laughs> Nidrotic's <laughs> gotta be avenged. Plank. <gasps> Terminator? 
Yeah. yeah. Is that like a personal attack or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She's just so villainous. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. <laughs> oh, you can aim down the sides. Ooh. That's an aggressive sound. <laughs> the Tisby walk. I have nothing to prove to you. Yeah, I agree. That's fine. <laughs> 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 the <don> angels. <laughs> That's about me, huh? <laughs> you need a ride, darling. Absolutely. <laughs> My mind and my liver have been hardened by decades of alcohol abuse and cinematic cynicism. Wow. Oh well. I don't know what the Rags playable character would be like. <laughs> I was curious what Rags your pint of tequila and let us journey together into the heart of darkness. Choose your toxic incel. Yeah, <laughs> that's that was that was cool. That was awesome. wild. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, it's only a matter of time before there's a full fledged EFAP game RPG, yeah. NPCs oh, no. everywhere, wow. quests with party system. Yeah, EFAP that Skyrim. is uh, that was something else. <clears throat> that's a that's Good a cut man. above, like, really awesome. Erotic was avenged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not just like good work. It's also like thanks. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to watch yeah. It. it's also silly. That's one of those. Awesome. That's oh man, that's crazy. You got uh, two songs from uh, Rainbow Soap, by the way. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. oh my goodness gracious! Climax of epics, the celestial sexual proportions of closed minded whiny fanboy tears. This nail biting game, Alfred Robot Light Weapon. Get your ego out of the picture for two seconds and pay attention to the plot. We can get this nail biting climax of epics, the celestial sexual proportions of another sword fight weapon. We can get this nail biting game, Alfred Robot Light Weapon. A review is nothing more than a description of an experience. Most people do not know what a Y Wing is. No one seems to know what a plot hole is. Most people do not know what the ultimate homosexual is. I'm Jedi's pro creative and can't love. No one's a fan stronger enemy who he demonstrably could not kill. Let's just go write a typical virtual reality headset exactly what they are. They have privileged problems. Humans don't look intelligent the same way we do. Sonner Wolf is actually a nuanced little centrist boy. Slice and dice! Uh -huh. I can analyze this scene forever. It's just so deeply layered. I cannot think of a bigger waste of time. 
than debating arts. And your bullies aren't just wrong. Oh no. You could make them This <laughs> <laughs> is not a fucking beloved character. Winnie the Pooh is a beloved character. Joel is a violent anti hero. <laughs> 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 you have boring taste. I don't want to be friends with you. <laughs> Friendship and being in love are two different things. Luke <laughs> Skywalker is not a superhero. What's wrong with you? <laughs> this is my favorite part. Frodo, he's just a hero, just a hero. Good God, is he annoying. I don't like Lord of the Rings. A terrible movie. Bossy is more of a cop teeth. Ghibli is the Jar Jar Binks of the trilogy. Good God, is he annoying? Harry Potter felt like a real person. For no reason! <laughs> Two towers. One mum be in the Twin Towers to watch the walking, Smash that fucking bell! No. No. I can't believe he That's said I'd rob the towers. Wait, no. towers and wash the two towers. <laughs> I like how nostalgia critic's face is not altered. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just his face. <laughs> he didn't need to. <laughs> that one's really wholesome because everybody's laughs. And um, yeah. I like that all of them deliver their quotes. We laugh. Ryan Johnson says, "Hello, I'm Ryan Johnson." <laughs> 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 And Matt, that would have taken ages to edit. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, with all of the moving, laughing faces. Yeah. Thank you so much. Rainbow Good Soap is shit. the channel. They made a whole bunch of songs for. Uh, yeah, they're all great. Fun. Absolutely <sighs> awesome. The, uh, the reappearance of Randy the Goblin. <laughs> uh, hi there, it's Randy the Goblin. I'm back to tell you about all the benefits of giving me gold ingots. This video oh my goodness, it's Randy the Goblin. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's a fucking legend, get Randy the Goblin. He's though. back, he's back. <laughs> this video may give you cancer, but for 10 gold ingots, you can get the EFAP disease prevention perk. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Randy the Goblin needs a comeback tour. He gives us useful things we need for EFAP, and all he asks is just some gold ingots. Is all he needs. <laughs> just some gold ingots. It's <laughs> all he needs is he loves them gold ingots. Got the um, but yeah, obviously, I fucking play creations animations. I always love seeing those. Yeah. Uh, the the top ten EFAP memes 2020. 2020 was a crazy twist. Oh boy! Watch this for uh, I think he did a 2019 one. For years to come. Yes. And then we have EFAP. Being the times this year saw a lot of rambunctiousness, as there was the unveiling of oh so many hot takes. Movie Bob and Cosmonaut reaching higher planes of villainy, and the YouTube chat doing chat stuff. <laughs> There was definitely a lot of divisiveness, but one thing we can all get behind is that the memes were still of a high standard. So like 2019... <laughs> the one thing you can never take away from me, fans. The memes, you know, they're just so good. The memes are great. <laughs> going to offer my I don't know about the show, the but the wheels are, are, are <laughs> This is great. the top 10 EFAP memes of 2020. <clears throat> number 10, Book Look from EFAP number 104. After over a year, anticipation built for the crew to once again cover Patrick Willems. 
originator of the Space Wizards appeal. This is a movie about Space Wizards intended for- The rise of Skywalker coming in to subvert expectations and Patrick's distaste being well known. A two-parter was done to look at both parts of his what do we want from a Star Wars movie video. Yet yeah, oddly enough, the meme train didn't really roll with his Star Wars take, but rather his outfit, which spurred on a debate amongst the EFAF folks about whether a t-shirt under a blazer was a viable look, with Weekend Warrior taking particular offense to Rax's assertion that it wasn't. A poll was created to decide, but due to Jay slipping up, <laughs> Good the luck option for a book of bad look, look ended up being book look, which was both humorous and yet oddly fitting. Number 9, Gimli from EFAP number 93. Lord <laughs> of the Rings has certainly Gimli. played a huge part in the EFAP lore, from highlighting the significance of Haldir to informing us of the nature of Dick Sex Machina. Significant. Probably the most significant Middle Earth related event to befall EFAP this year came from covering Cinematic Venom's takedown of the Peter Jackson trilogy. It did not go well. A lot of weak arguments against the beloved films were made, but the most memorable was the reading that Gimli wanted Sam Frodo to die. Needless to say, this obvious error in judgment reevaluated the level of wrongness one could achieve in movie criticism. It was a take so legendary, it has ended up in the EFAP Hall of Fame, <laughs> which we might get back to later. Number 8, Angela Cutel from EFAP number 78. Oh, As alluded to previously, with Dross coming out at the tail end of 2019, a lot of takes on the film were carried over to 2020. While TLJ fans and haters alike bashed the film, there were a few, including Ben Shapiro, who were on board. One such individual was Thought Theater, who offered a defense of the film. And yet, once again, the meme did not come from the Tross take itself, but from a most ironic of errors. It seems that his tagline at the time, an intellectual approach to film, <laughs> and a typo, so intellectual, was misspelled. And obviously, screwing up such a key word was going to lead to humor, and this new term would go on to be known as insulocutal, which has since been used to mock folks who might think themselves as smart pants. Thankfully, though, Thought Theater took his coverage on the meme in stride, and has joined forces with the Toxic Brood, proving himself to be a, a pretty clever force. fellow. <laughs> number 7, Subware Cringe from EFAP number 78. Again. From the earliest days of EFAP, Jay has always been reliable for generating memes. In addition to Book Look, another meme statement? to make the list this year, <laughs> Motion Stream, calling Hell of Rio as the Rise of Skywalker memes. made me appreciate The Last Jedi even more. During the part where he was discussing his love of Luke in the film, and how his worldview was destroyed, this eventually led to discussion of the prequels because of Luke's questionable perspective and how Palpatine could have stabbed Mace Windu and then dabbed. This brought up the Hulk dab scene in Avengers Endgame, to which Jay replied he had come around on it due to the cringe of it being self-aware. The dubious nature of such a claim was pointed out and mocked by the panel, and the term self-aware cringe has been since used in sincere and insincere ways for situations where it may be applicable or where it can be viewed as an ironic half ass excuse. Number 6, E from EFAP <laughs> number 78. I swear I did not plan for this to be happening. The objectivity versus subjectivity debate has been one of the most persistent battles of the podcast, and there have been many contenders on the subjectivity end of things. But it's doubtful that a less impressive plea of it has been represented in such a meme way prior to Hell of Rita. In the prelude to his aforementioned TLJ appreciation video, he talked about how he wasn't a detail-oriented viewer. He then brought up the Holdo Maneuver as an example of something that people object to on the grounds that it doesn't quite make sense and breaks the lore of the Star Wars universe, to which he posed the question, But how did it make you feel? <laughs> this immediately led to laughter and bafflement given that the frustration over the numerous questions the introduction of this move raises and just being generally miffed about it should be a pretty obvious feeling in and of itself. That combined with Greedo's dragged out emphasis of the word feel made the phrase ripe for memory, mm. solidified by his following coverage in EFAB number 80, and it would find its way in the previously mentioned Hall of Fame of Poor Arguments. Number 5, Ruined Grandma from EFAB <laughs> number 83. It's fair to say that Rags is one of the more chaotic and unpredictable of the EFAB band, <laughs> serving as a good counterpoint to the stoic and reserved longman. <laughs> you called it a flag! <laughs> So it would make sense something he said would make the list somewhere. And thankfully, we got a good one during the coverage of Cinema Sins' negative take on Joker, a film which was a distinct example of a controversial work of art that the EFAP crew were generally on the positive end of on the discussion last year. Not long after remarking on the complaint about the logo, Rags seemingly unprompted and out of nowhere began telling this tale about some situation during Christmas, which is a period of Halloween, where his parents told him, God damn it, Rags, you ruined grandma. 
The framing of this was so suggestive <laughs> and a bit dark that even after more of an explanation, it's become a constant in the rags lore, which Mahler himself even predicted would happen. Number four, Alfred from EFAP number 70. As stated previously, Joker led to some strong opinions, and so there was interest in going over Ralph the Movie Maker's negative review of the film. As was to be expected from most Joker criticism at this point, his arguments weren't particularly convincing. However, things took a turn for the bizarre near the end of part one of the coverage. While going on about the story's Batman connection, he cut to the scene of Alfred confronting Arthur and asked, Is this guy supposed to be Alfred? This was such a <laughs> random detour in the review, with no real elaboration or follow-up, that it was pretty hilarious. The phrase would take off in a similar vein to that one meme with the guy and the butterfly, and variations on the phrase also became quite <laughs> popular. And undoubtedly, this would make any appearance or mention of Alfred a little funnier from now on. Number 3, Joel from EFAP number 97. Even amongst all the hot takes this year, The Last of Us Part Two managed to leave a significant dent in the discourse. Often remarked as The Last Jedi of Gaming, this sequel to 2014's The Last of Us, while critically praised, also received a ton of backlash from people for questionable character decisions and story choices, most notably the death of prior protagonist Joel Miller at the hands of Abby. And also like TLJ, there were many prepared to make video essays in its defense, one of whom was just right. As is typical for defenders of the game, he attempted to point out how murky the moral gray area was, particularly surrounding Joel's character. And while there had been a warning of what he was going to say in EFAB number 96, the guests and the audience were still annoyed when he said, Literally every death that happens after the first game is Joel's fault. <laughs> this obvious and- So I can't- <laughs> That, that was That's said. He said that. He uh, wrote it down in his script, and then he said it and recorded and he was like, it. Yeah, that's good. When he yeah, went back yeah, just... again, maybe. Had he this not said correct. literally, he might have a small Could amount of wiggle okay, room to be that. like, I was being hyperbolic. It's like, you chose the word that means Every you are not being hyperbolic. Yeah. <sighs> no, but when people say literally, they are being hyperbolic. It's like, right, well, pick right. the right word then. <laughs> Because it ain't literally. And simplistic eventually led to many other bad things being attributed to Joel <laughs> with very little evidence. <laughs> Joel's <laughs> meme status would further be enforced in the by Cosmonaut's disbelief that he was a beloved character, despite clear evidence to the contrary. And Jim Sterling. Yeah, we went to like the first ranking of most loved PS Sony characters. Yeah. It was Joel was number two. Yeah, he was two. in like the top three of all of them. <laughs> would also crap on him in EFAP number 100 despite previously approving of the character. Still, regardless of all the mean words thrown at Joel, he will continue to be appreciated both sincerely and ironically by the EFAP community. Number two, Little Clown Boy from EFAP <laughs> oh, number 87. Yeah. Tone Loke has certainly had one of the greatest arcs in the saga of EFAP. <laughs> Starting with some less than stellar content, he swiftly redeemed himself in the eyes of the regulars with some better thought out material. He's actually put out a good video. This culminated in his guest appearance on EFAP number 100, where the crowd was enthralled by his stories and wisdom. But that has by no means made him incapable of delivering some awesome memes. And one was created during a look at one of his gamer cooking videos, <laughs> what would Kratos order at a restaurant? When describing the gods' many feats, he mentioned how his favorite moment in God of War 3 was the boss fight with Poseidon. In particular, the ending where he grabs him I'm like a little clown boy. The phrasing of this was so <laughs> odd and unexpected, it was pretty much immediately so picked up as a term to be frequently used and would prove useful to describe silly people in the future. Honorable mentions. Hate Piano from EFAP number 69. No Time to Explain from EFAP number 85. Press X to Bob from EFAP <laughs> number 73. And Sport from EFAP Gaming number 8. And the number one EFAP meme oh of 2020 is... Yeah. No! Yeah. <laughs> Ringy has been a frequent guest for quite a while, and the EFAP community has been in awe of his passion and his wacky Australian nature. But this year he was given <laughs> special interest due to how he says no. While this had been a thing since his first appearance... Like, you know, so he's got no excuse. As he kept showing up in the Batwoman minis, people were starting to notice. This attention culminated in a super chat from EFAB number 81, read out in Super Chat Catch Up 4, which asked, Ever notice how you can tell if someone's Australian by the way they say no? With their awareness <laughs> of Fringy's no confirmed, this led to the topic being addressed within Fringy's presence in EFAB number 85. I can't it's, help it's, saying no. Which is where this phenomenon really exploded <laughs> no. in popularity with no. proper memes and stuff no. over the next couple installments prior to his return. 
in addition to the proclamation being given an official spelling. But it's pretty much agreed upon how it's spelled now. It's N-O-U-G-H. It's Doe, but no. No! Its <laughs> popularity even resulted in an official emoji for the EFAB display. <laughs> that's not a sign of fame, I'm not sure what it is. It also became quite popular to combine the meme and the phrase no reason in homage to cinematic venom. Constant padding and constant filler for no reason. For no reason. <laughs> for no reason. In either case, NAR is unlikely to be done anywhere anytime soon. And is secure on the top of the list for the year. And that's it for the Yeah, ranking. I mean, there was no be question, Be sure to leave really. some of your favorites down in the comments and make 2021 No offense to all the other fortune. memes, but come on. Uh, I mean, it's a tough one to beat. Yeah. Yay. That was, yeah. A lot of good memes. A lot of them that have been sticking around for a while. A lot of good memes this year, yeah. A lot of it is uh, 2020. Great year. I think that's what the conclusion is. Great year. Yeah, I think everybody <laughs> felt that way. To be About the whole year, yeah. The whole um, year was great. I loved it. Nothing, <clears throat> not a bad thing to say. Everybody was having a great time. Yeah. And nothing bad happened. Um, oh, this old Yub Nub 2. <laughs> Oh, no. 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 Come like what, the, what? Shut up, cum slut. <laughs> Probably should have done that. What the fucking fuck? Cum is yum, and I cannot lie. You are. Come yum, No, 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 no. no. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on planet Sterling. <laughs> I desire to be sexy. Oh my god. Horrifying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Communism, come yum. The Ewoks, they ain't bring his brain. Oh no, sorry. Come yum, come simulation. Come yum. When Jimmy came, come save you. Then you will be food. Oh no. Smurfs to give you a hand job. Come yum, Jesus. Snowball from a half asleep super chat. <laughs> I'm a train dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who is currently editing the DCEU EFAP movies? Yay! This is what he gets up to in his free time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what was <isn't> this? <laughs> Down my behind daddy. Comes with a shake. Girls just want to have fun. I'm gonna need subtitles for this, but there we go. <laughs> Take him to the cum yum king. <laughs> I need subtitles for this. <laughs> oh, that's some good shit. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a creepy Ewok. Yeah, the whole video is creepy. <laughs> that is a creepy Ewok. I'm sorry we cut off your head, Fringy. Yeah. No. Oh. Well, no, Ewok's be, gotta no, eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fringy is used to battling dangerous indigenous life. <laughs> wow, it's funny, yeah. I feel like Ewoks don't stand a chance against, like, most of the animals in this country. True. Uh.
this is um remember kaiser mongol made like a bunch of videos to sort of best represent the origin of memes certain memes and certain events and stuff and uh they did one for downward thrust coming onto efab oh boy i think the turning point was when i had this i think it was summer 2017 i was i was kind of depressed actually my girlfriend and i had broken up i had moved out to uh like an apartment i was all alone but my channel was growing enormously like i was getting tons of views but the content i was putting out it was it was pretty low quality eventually this guy and i've never mentioned this guy ever because my philosophy in terms of like haters and stuff like that is i don't interact with them um, and he he made a video about me and it was it was pretty bad it's i mean it's tough sometimes when, when people it was a uh, push someone into the mud and, and rub their face in well, the dirt. Not not trying to like uh, outdo you in any way, shape, or form, but we have lots of experience in that department. Yeah. <laughs> Scary amount of experience. This particular guy, um, I don't know what happened with the algorithm or, or what, but it just started this series of hate videos about me. And there was, I think there was like 10 or 15 videos. I, I got into this, this space where I was like getting depressed. I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with like, you know, the job of YouTube itself, like actually making you sad. Yeah, sometimes, else. yeah. This guy was, this, this guy was this negative atomic bomb. Like while I was in the process of going through like, I don't want to say clinical depression because I've never been diagnosed with depression, but I had reached an all time low. My channel was growing, but I was so unhappy to the point where I would like, not be able to sleep. I would literally just open the blinds and stare up at the moon, dude. And just, I was like, really unhappy. So, like that, the, that event in 2017, that basically set off a chain reaction with me over the course, over the course of the next year where I had to like really find myself again, go through the learning process of what happened, who I become, how far down you know the rabbit hole i went how do i get back up how do i make myself happy for damn sure i wasn't happy doing what i was doing the most watched video on my channel is a, is a video on video game addiction called the bitter reality of video game addiction but i'll tell you what dude i received upwards of ten thousand emails in response to, to the million people who watched me i'd say a good 500 of those are deep emotional stories about people in the most dire situations completely addicted to games they don't know where to turn they don't know how to get out of it some dude some of these people are like 10. i still get emails trickling in lost their job to a, a video game their their mortgage they can't afford their mortgage because they, they lost their their job because they were too addicted to world of warcraft or CSGO or whatever. And like these people have these crazy situations that I would never have been able to impact. And some of those emails were, dude, you made me find a light. So many of them were these really wonderfully redemption style emails of, I had this video game addiction. It was ruining my life. I lost my wife. I have no money, but watching your video, realized made me realize i have some hope and i always think back to that video when i think about like why am i doing this on youtube am i playing games just to write essays so that i can force my opinion down th other people's throats and get them to think exactly how i feel now i think about like the notion that this platform can help people it can hurt them and it can aid in the the sickening spread of you know technology addiction and, and social media if, if people just can't get off the thing but at the end of the road for the right person even if it's just one person like you can you can help someone and dude that video i think that's the video that i'm most proud of because it knocks on everything you just said in regards to the, the the weird 
society that we live in and the the troubles that you can find yourself in viewer or creator on this platform dude Good shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was a, it. Was so great that we could get him on EFAP. Definitely a <clears throat> major highlight. <clears throat> so I hope more? I wasn't too preachy. Uh. Or, uh, <laughs> no. You know, we uh, were. Dude, this is this has been in terms of some of the subjects we brought up. In terms of no. EFAP highlights, this is uh, this is up there, man. We've had a hundred episodes, and this is up there. Well, shit, maybe that's uh, my call to bid you guys adieu. Thanks again for having me. The the support for you guys' community is awesome. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for coming on, dude. Seriously, it's been a pleasure, and uh, we'll we'll see you again soon. Absolutely, uh, you guys thanks take so care. much. Take care, guys. Bye. You too. You too. See you around. I'm kind of bummed out. I missed that part. <laughs> I feel like I like exactly Jesus. when I was asleep. <laughs> well, I uh, I was there when he got there, and I came back shortly after he came back. Uh, after he left, so yeah. I missed that part. Because like, I, I pieced it. Thing. I pieced it at the end of part one. Yeah. And then yeah. part two started with that. I was like, damn it! <laughs> God damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a good. It was a good half an hour. While you were there, for me, like lots of meme and fun. Yeah, discussion. there was a lot of funny meme stuff. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Good stuff. And uh, the last of the videos for today, like I said, we got oh, more. These are the last of the copyright free ones, I think. Uh, I don't even know if that's going to be true. We'll find out soon enough. But yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This is um, another one from uh, Rainbow Soap. Oh hell yeah! Oh, oh wait, I'm is wrong. Surprise! Wait, sorry. Let me find out who actually made it in case it isn't Rainbow wait. Soap. It's DJM oh. voices, sorry. <laughs> That's the oh, other. okay. They both uh, make songs. My bad. But yeah. Uh, Alrighty. Oh, was a surprise? <laughs> <gasps> What's up, guys? I want to review Toy Story uh, series I'm sorry, I, one, two, and three. We gotta pause this. How did you? How did you find this? If you don't like this movie, you're Hitler. <laughs> it's just a fucking magic movie, man. The cowboy girl, and of course the creepy cock, and the horse. If you don't like this movie, you're Hitler. <laughs> really channel that oh, God. Nazi you. Why did the Wakandas only stop at four countries? When you're watching Toy Story and you see Woody and Buzz, it kind of makes your heart melt a little bit. When I was a kid, I used to check to see if my toys were real. Maybe like fucking each other in the ass. <laughs> Hopefully not home up. Let's talk about Sid. Sid is awesome. They made him a fucking garbage man. I mean, what is this, like the 1920s? Come on. We all know white people aren't garbage men anyway. But anyways, guys, <laughs> if you don't like us early, you're Hitler. I lack ambition. It's just a fucking epic movie, man. Like a cowboy girl. And of course, the creepy cock. And a horse. If you don't like this movie, you're Hitler. The fun was really bad. You're Hitler. Spider-Man 2 shit. You're Hitler. <laughs> you're Hitler. Space Wolf boring. You're Hitler. Space Wolf is boring. Hitler. Have a talk. Well, issue. You're Hitler. Chinese cartoon. You're Hitler. I don't like memories. <laughs> 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 if you don't like this movie, you're Hitler. Nazi. It's just a fucking magic movie, man. The cowboy girl. Uh, and of course, the creepy cock. And a horse. If you don't like this movie, you're Hitler. I think there was an Illuminati message to this. Because <laughs> I'm a weirdo myself. What's not to hate about this movie? If you don't like this movie, you're Hitler. <laughs> if you don't like this movie, you're Hitler. <laughs> Anyways, guys. You know what? Fair first actual good criticism. I'll actually give you that. Why are we here? <laughs> just, <laughs> holy crap. Uh, the fact uh, that like, I would just see what we fuck <laughs> each other in the arms. He's such a character because 
It's the first thing he goes to in terms of his toys doing something because they're sentient or whatever, and they can do it's like they fuck each other, and then he immediately goes to, oh, but not in a gay way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What a legend. Incredible. Um, yeah, and that, uh, we're, we're pretty close to three hours. The, this will be the shortest EFAP episode in a long time. I, uh, oh, wow. oh my goodness gracious, people are gonna <laughs> people are gonna say, oh, short, short man, man, short man. man. That's what the uh, comments are gonna be. Event, They're gonna be totally short man. Event, basically every <laughs> regular well, podcast. They've got, short man, um, short man. Three got, hours, what is this, a metal stream? And uh, dog accomplice <laughs> shorting out on us. They got the Man of Steel EFAP movies, which are the longest EFAP movies ever, I think, because it's three hours <laughs> and ten minutes, so... Oh my Think god. Think of that as the combo up, okay? Um, there's yeah, a lot more memes left. I'm gonna sort them all out ahead of time. We'll organize again, but we... Problem is, we got so many fucking things to do, because Batwoman's out already as well, I think, uh, Sunday. And then we gotta Ooh. do... We got yeah. we got some other things coming up, recording-wise. Just wise. League as well, right? Yeah, yeah, Just League is... Um, <clears throat> is that Monday? That is Monday, right? Oh my god. Uh, I think so. It's, we do uh, Batwoman uh, and Just Yeah, we can because Just League's only two hours. I say only in reference <coughs> to Snyder's yeah. movies, of course. Um, but yeah, thank you all for, for watching. Sorry it's been so long to get to memes, and sorry that we haven't gone to all of them yet, but we shall. Yeah. And uh, Thanks um, for the memes, guys. Really yeah, really. they're all amazing. Again, I know Thanks someone out there right now is like, oh my god, they didn't even show mine. It's like, it's coming. Don't worry. I swear to god. It's do not you worry, you person who said that thing. That you yeah. said, don't worry. Don't, we will don't get worry. to them on the next EFAP memes episode. Memes. Yeah. Dot so com. Dot com. That's right. EFAP memes episode dot com. Slash of uh, coom. Racism. Brought to you by Square Space. Square, yeah. square Legends. Triangle Blinkers. Terminator. Oh, Blink. Blink. I'd love to be sponsored by Blink. <laughs> That's something I actually wanted to mention about the, the, the Down With Thrust portion there. Talking about addiction. There are games that they, they build them hoping to get people addicted. Like, that's oh, what's so I mean, predatory course, yeah, about it. That's the reason oh, yeah. why they yeah. do the blinking sounds and the flashing lights. It is to be like a casino. Just bombard you with Dopamine. all of this visual and um, auditory stimulation so that you just keep putting money into the slot. I mean, buying microtransactions. Yeah. Oh, that shit's so it's so cheating. <clears throat> the fundamental. It's so transparent. Yeah, yeah, you can't beat this demon without an extra bullet. Buy a bullet for one dollar. It's like, yeah, okay. I mean, one dollar to beat this demon. One, Hell yeah. God damn, that helped out last time, and it's just a buck. And then before you know it, there are some house. weird guys coming into your house, <laughs> taking away all your stuff. Um, mm. but yeah. Again, thank you so much, for everybody, for for the yeah. work, and uh, we will see you on thank the next you. whatever the thing is that we're doing. Yeah, it's you uh, tomorrow or something. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everybody.